can you like do you care that your your chat is calling you racist do you make any attempt to modify like, i have not looked at my chat <laughs> i have not looked at my chat at all but you i just opened it but don't you have moderators do you care at all about what I, your audience says there's thirty two thousand people in here right now the reason why people are saying that is because of the conflations that you made ethan uh -oh. that's why like i can't i can't stop people from viewing you a certain way if you're gonna make these comparisons that they've heard from actually racist people you literally implied that jewish voice for peace would be akin to a capo in this circumstance oh, you're saying things that they've heard from racist people wait I can't blame them for calling you racist because you're saying things that have been said by racist people. But not necessarily everyone who says it is racist. Like... I think they're monsters. They're like psychotic. I think, no, I think, I think you're a good not person. Not all of them, but there are a lot of them, and you okay. don't seem to care about moderating That's it at all. That's not true. Whereas if you go to, if you're, when you're on my show, we really do care about what people say about you on yeah. Discord and mm -hmm. chat, and we moderate it to keep like a good environment, but you don't seem to care about There's it. There's no way I can mm -hmm. shut off my moderators. chat. I mean, I can put it in emote mode, but that's it. Just like moderator? you shut off your chat. Just... Wait, what, it, what if I said it's bad faith? I think you want me to be totally honest? Ooh. Yeah. No kitty gloves. Okay. Fuck you, I, bro. No. That insinuation is so stupid. No, man. I no, please don't get mad at me. I'm gonna <laughs> be, I'm fucking be moron, you just talk down to me the whole time. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I think you're a very smart person, but you do get a little right, emotional on this. Kitty issue. Gloves, it's on. Tell me. Okay. I I know, I know. Oh. Alright. Oh. Did he just leave abruptly? I don't know why I get so fucking emotional lately. Oh shit. You alright? We don't have to we don't have to continue if you don't want to. We don't feel like it. I think maybe I would like to pivot maybe to talking about the um from the land to the sea. And maybe trying to explain why. Uh, from the perspective of uh, Israelis and yeah. Jewish people at large, that they, they see yeah. this mm. as, a, as a problematic thing to say. Sure. I mean, at worst, right? We can do that, but I have to pee first. Okay, let me pee real quick, and then you, you, can, you can explain your position if you want. I'll wait, I'll wait. You were talking about uh, from the river to the sea, Palestine yeah, yeah. will be free. And okay, they... so like, at worst, the worst interpretation of that would be like mm -hmm. someone like Hamas or Hezbollah or like terrorist organizations who are like, yeah, we want to actually kill everybody there. That's the worst interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of people, obviously, most vast majority of people who do say that, don't want to kill all the Jews there, right? But but like so at the best interpretation of it, it basically means, as I've said, this one state dissolution of the state of Israel. And a lot of people also see that. I would say the vast majority of people in Israel see that as a genocide. So that it's, it's if it's viewed in that scope, and there's another interesting thing that I've noticed about this. I mean, it's, the thing is like that phrase does have a long history of being used by terrorists. And yeah. so and so, you know, you but wouldn't Hold on, hold Wait, on. can I, I'll, can I, let me, let me, because like the terrorism on, designation here. Point. Okay, let me go ahead, my, make your full yeah, point. Let me make my full point here and then you can respond. There's an interesting phenomenon going on here where, you know, my, when minorities tell you they're offended by something, usually, especially liberals and leftists, they'll, they'll listen because it's not their place, right? They'll say, it's not my place. If you say it, then that's what it is. I mean, Jews how are people managing to convince people of this phrase retcon? I don't actually know because like I used to say that shit, like a, I never saw anything wrong with it because I always associated with like w like Western leftist circles just saying we want like a binational one state with equal rights, right? That's what I thought it meant. Um, and I think it means that to most people that I talk to who use it, which is not many, but I want to know I don't. I want to find out what it means to Palestinians, like the average Palestinian who says it, because or I would imagine you'd probably get mixed feelings there as well. That's what I want to know, but I don't know how to find that out. I can't find polling on it, so uh. it's self-explanatory. No, it's not self-explanatory. You fucking idiot. <laughs> That's why it's used by so many different groups. Why it's usually used by so many different groups. <laughs> Isn't the Arabic translation Palestine will be Arab? Is it? The Hebrew version from the Jordan to the sea, equality for all, okay. I'm guessing most people don't know the slogan's origins. Well, it's from the PFLP, and they were saying they wanted a secular democratic state, but the PFLP also killed a lot of Israeli civilians. So I don't really know what they were going for with that whole strategy. They seem kind of dumb at <laughs> the Marxist Leninists. Um, but they're not really relevant anymore, those guys. Jews are make up 60% of all hate crimes in America right now. Mm -hmm. So lies. What did I say that was lies there, JB? Isn't the origin the Palestinian National Council's initial charters? What the PNC slogan for nonces? Okay. Wow. Um, 
What's your opinion of the PFLP? Uh, everything I've heard of them seems kind of cringe. I don't know what is it. Adopted by the PLO in 1964. Origins in the PNC. Oh, okay. I thought I didn't know that. A removal. Oh, this is what because they originally wanted a removal of the majority of its Jewish population. What's the source for that? Oh, that's not good. The Jews who had normally resided in Palestine until the beginning of the Zionist invasion will be considered Palestinians. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Palestine is the homeland of the Arab Palestinian people. It's an indivisible part of the Arab homeland. Uh, integral part. Boundaries, British mandate. Indivisible territorial unit. Right to their legal homeland and right to determine their destiny. Achieving liberation. Uh, Genuine, essential, inherent characteristic, parents to children. The Zionist occupation and dispersal of Palestinian people through disasters befell them. Okay. Anyone born after that date, whether inside or Palestine or outside it, is also Palestinian. The Jews who had normally resided in Palestine until the beginning of the Zionist invasion will be considered Palestinians. What are they going to say? Um, three motives. Balfour Declaration, null and void. Claims of historical or religious ties of Jews with Palestine are incompatible with the facts of history and the true conception of what constitutes statehood. Judaism, being a religion, is not an independent nationality, nor did Jews constitute a single nation with identity of its own. They are citizens of the states where they belong. Um, Zionism is an illegitimate movement. Oh, God, how am I supposed to find words in this? Jesus. Let me find the word in 1917, please. What? This is from the UK. Excerpts. Yeah, when they say the Zionist invasion, that's from 1917. An explicit declared exchange Palestinian covenant. You cannot say I'm prepared to make peace with Israel holding this charter, which states that Israel has no right of existence, that it must disappear, and that we want to establish a Palestinian state where only the Jews living there before 1917 have the right of residence. This is impossible. Damn. So, nineteen eighty. The fate of Israeli born Jews, whoever survives, will stay in Philistine, but in my opinion, no one will remain alive. Who said that? What? Who said this? 19, this is pre-67 war. Who's this one? I don't know who this is. Former chairman of the PLO. He was the PLO chairman in, he was the PLO chairman in uh, the 67 war, and that's what he said. The accusations came from an announcement here at a press conference in East Jerusalem on June 2nd after stopping off in Amman on the way back from Cairo in King Hussein's plane. According to the Lebanese Daily, Shakuri was asked what would happen if the citizens of Israel, uh, if the Arabs won the war. His answer, we will endeavor to assist the Jews and facilitate their departure by sea to their countries of origin. Regarding the fate of Israeli-born Jews, he replied, whoever survives will stay in Philistine, but in my opinion, no one will remain alive. Whoa. Well, no special attention at the time. Not was, wasn't relayed on Arab radio stations. Radio PLO made no mention of it. On the same day, it announced in the press conference that had taken place. Found a reference to the statement in French Weekly in a report in the Middle East situation. Described him saying his skill at whipping up the crowds. The reporter quoted Shakuri. Shukairi, I don't know how to say that. In the event of a conflict, no Jew would remain alive. Wow. So... When, when Jewish people look at that and they say, it makes me uncomfortable the way that that's used, um, it, I find it interesting that people see that as an, an opportunity to argue instead of listen. Especially to me, it's like you can make the same argument about the Confederate flag where Southerners will be like, listen, it's just about our heritage. You know what I mean? That has nothing to do with racism. And, maybe, and, and some people, uh, people... I know you're saying this Corey guy interviewed people. I don't trust him, though. <laughs> I don't trust him at all. Because I, I think he's got like a... He's definitely got like a leaning towards Israel. I don't really know if he's like sampling people properly or... Uh... 
Well, he almost definitely isn't that right. But yeah. at the end of the day, okay. if a black person is like that Confederate flag is offensive to me, you're not going to argue with them and say, no, it's just heritage. Like not everybody who uses it is racist. So okay. then, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't seem fair. I, I know, but okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Where do I begin here? So one, um, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free is, uh, is a, uh, 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 it's origination. It's inception comes from the PFLP, uh, the, uh, popular front for liberation Palestine, which you're right, was considered Swats, a terrorist. Uh, existed before Nazis. Okay. You know, uh, Hold on. Saying. I, I understand. I'm going. Why does he believe that? Why did I believe that? That it came from the PFLP? So yeah, it says origins came from the PNC, uh, the Palestinian National Council's initial charter. Okay. But this was removed from the PLO's demand as part of the Oslo Accords. It was in the 60s. Okay. Okay. Going to, I'm going to describe it. Okay. Go ahead. Um, in its inception and in its broader context, historically, since the 60s, it has always been utilized as a slogan for emancipation and never for anti-Semitism. The, re the PNC doesn't actually say it in the charter. Okay. But it was just when the demand was made, I guess, when it was like an official line. So where did the phrase come from? Anti-Semitic hate speech, nonviolent call. Okay. Yeah. Democratic state. Used by militant groups. Popularized, uh, freeing from oppression. Adopted by the PLO in 1964. Hamas. Revising the charter. Yeah. Civic usage, criticism, criminalization. Oh, yeah, Suella Breverman wants to criminalize it. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. The reason why Hamas it adopted it, the reason why, yeah, the reason why Hamas yeah. co-opted it when they had 3% support as opposed to the PLO, which had 83% support, right? Support alongside now. alongside uh, the PLO talking about it. Let's go. was Woo. because it was the slogan that was the slogan for Palestinian emancipation. This does not mean that like that slogan changed at any given point to mean uh, killing all the Jewish people just because it was co-opted by a marginal militant faction well, that in and of itself has never reached a, a similar level of popularity to even a two-state solution has historically amongst Palestinians. They've never pulled anywhere near 52% so, so support. In which part of this do you think it's fair to argue with a with a group that makes up 80% of all hate crimes that happen in America? Or not 86%. Because, because that, the, that, you're, you're, that you can argue with them and say, no, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm going to tell you. because Well, two reasons. One, because... Palestinians are the oppressed party in the structure against the state of Israel, not cool. Jews, the state of Israel, which does not, I think you and I both agree, uh, does not represent the interests of, of Jews at all and will falsely conflate the interests of Jews with the interests of the state of Israel, specifically so they can um, continue, to, uh, continue to engage in this argument sometimes from a disingenuous uh, framing, a disingenuous conflation. Jewish people themselves say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Jewish people are at the forefront of the anti-apartheid, I mean, anti-Zionist sure. activism. I'm not sure if they're at the forefront. Is he talking about, what's he talking about? Like, uh, yeah. Jewish voice for peace, Jews for economic I mean, and the existence of Jewish people doesn't, you know, I don't, that point is not so, very persuasive. I mean, of course there is. What do you, of course it's, I think it's very important because there's there Israelis like, that say it. And no, therefore a minority or Jewish people shouldn't be offended by it because some people say it. I mean, no, you know. I think, I think because Jewish people, I'm not going to talk about this as like Jewish people in general. The reason why I brought up Jews for uh, Jewish voice for peace and other groups using this as well, like Jews themselves in America using this, uh, anti-Zionist slogan indicates that this slogan isn't one that is about the evisceration of that's Jews. Good. If that was the case, that, then, that, then they no. wouldn't use it. There, there was Jewish collaborators with fucking Nazis. Ethan, don't reformers. do that. Please don't say that. <laughs> like that's... I'm telling you that the mere existence of Jewish... Jewish voice for peace. Aren't they... Aren't those guys like quite wacky though? I did a little bit of reading about them not too long ago because I got... A, I know someone who wants to do research into them. I've heard some weird stories about them, but like... I'm trying to find if there was a screenshot that was sent to me once about them. They're not even Jewish and the admin of their Facebook group was in Lebanon. That's what I heard. Where's the, where's the proof of that? Because I couldn't find that at the time. Is that true? I also heard that there was like this, um, that there was this Twitter account that was one of their head people saying like, um, as a Jew, as a Jew in every statement that they made on Twitter, but it was, they weren't Jewish. The person himself wasn't Jewish. This was the picture I saw. This was a Jewish voice for peace, Detroit, talking about the myth of civilian Israelis. 
the aftermath of any act of resistance carried out by Palestinians, quotation marks, barbaric, quotation marks, civilian. I don't know if Jewish Voice for Peace are necessarily the, uh, the guy, like, uh, yeah. There's a whole compilation of this stuff. I think it's probably on ADL, but you'd, you'd find it. And again, the problem with ADL is that they see anti-Semitism in absolutely everything. But um, this is like a little bit more extra. So yeah, they're a really bizarre representation. Yeah. Which voices doesn't, it's not, it's not a leg to stand on. I don't understand that. But, of course you, but you're be failing, but, you're, but the most important it's component here, the, it's the like most important component here is that, Israelis, that seems silly. tired. What? Ethan. The you're like, here, check out my Israeli. He says it. That's not. Then, I don't know <laughs> it's it, well i will explain to you oh, why shit. it's not a comparison because i think you agree with me on this as well that it's palestinian emancipation is just right it's just whereas the confederacy is not the confederacy was there to preserve they said state rights but states rights but it was there to preserve the maintenance of slavery palestinian <sighs> emancipation is not uh, or has not ever been broadly defined at any moment throughout its history uh, the, the, uh, the evisceration of all Jews living in Israel or the forcible expulsion of all Jews living in Israel. Other militant factors that were never, ever as popular as the broader Palestinian emancipatory movement have taken on this slogan alongside slogans like Free Palestine in general. The, the same exact argument Palestine. to say from uh, Free Palestine from the river to the sea can also be applied to Free Palestine as well. It's just a matter of, it's, it's just a matter of where the motivations lie. You have how, to look at how Israelis view it is that you're well, saying I, I, that I Israel, don't care about how Israelis view it. I will, I will admit that. I don't. And Jews at large. I, think uh, okay. I, think Jews I don't think Jews at large afraid. view it. I don't think that that is the... What, in what position are you to even say that? Israelis make up like 40% of the Jews in the world, roughly, right? Is it 40%? It's a lot of the world's Jews anyway. Um, yeah, I don't... It can't be that many Jews who are... But again, I don't, I don't know what it means to most Palestinians. That's what I want to know. If they still hold this like 1960s idea that like the Jews who arrived before 1917 all have to fuck off. I don't know. That. Uh, well, I'm in the position of like, I'm in the position of, of, of almost, almost, almost entirely religion. getting, uh, I know, uh, my, my perspective is not motivated by myself. Group. It's motivated That's by crazy. Jews against anti-Zionist no, Jews. How can you speak for my entire ethnic group? I find that really interesting. Ooh. Well, I don't speak for your entire ethnic group. How many Jews have you polled about if they find that offensive or not? <laughs> it doesn't matter if people <laughs> find it offensive. You know Jews. Yeah. It doesn't matter if Jews find it offensive, Ethan. It doesn't That's matter ridiculous. if a minority group finds something anti-Semitic? Yes, of course, because we're not talking about Jews at all. We're talking about Israel. This is okay, a, know, this know, a conflation I'm, between I'm Israel and... <laughs> no, in this case, the perception is, because that phrase has been co-opted by terrorist groups, and it's been used widely by terrorist groups, and, and, and this, the idea that's being communicated, although we've talked about the one state idea today and, and the way that we've discussed it. I will say, I feel like there's a nuanced discussion you can have about this, mm -hmm. but not with the people who decided that the OK sign was white supremacist because some fucking far right people started using it. OK, not from the people who said all lives matter is fucking racist. OK, no, it, no, I, I will not stand for it. Pepe, I will not stand for it. It only seems like more realistic, but I don't, people don't think about it that way. They think about basically the state of Israel disappearing and Jews, when Jews around the world think about the state of Israel disappearing and there's like a mass fucking genocide of Lower all the Jews box. there, you then yes, they're going to look at that and, and they're not going to be happy about it. Ethan, Israel is the party with all of the power in the structure. Palestinians have no you. power I'm in the structure. I'm going to listen identified. to the Palestinian voices and, and tell you the historical reference points as to what mm. from the river to the sea Palestine will be free when talking about it. So just like when... When, at what point can a phrase be co-opted by a terrorist? And then you'd be like, mm, maybe I'm just, we'll back off that one. Um, the swastika and the Nazi comparison is actually a wonderful one. And I do not think that the Hamas or any Palestinian group has ever actually Did reached the machine of ethnic cleansing that but the Nazis have. Making that comparison, in my opinion, do. is like diminishing the impact oh, of the Holocaust. Look, Mike from PA, he's so brave. Look at the courage. How old is this guy? Just sitting in Hassan's chat, spamming. <laughs> It's fucking like grandstand. Oh God. It's not what they've done or can do. It's about the meaning of it, you know? Yeah, Hamas also says free Palestine. That doesn't change the, the meaning behind free Palestine. It doesn't mean anything. What you have to look at is what the broader Palestinians, what the, what the Palestinian movement believes, what the Palestinian movement uh, implies. When the difference is that free Palestine is very, is so much more open to interpretation because river to the sea is a little bit more close to a kind of, it sounds so much more like a geographical demand, right? Yeah. Saying this, and it's important. It's important because 
Like, what are people to do, Ethan? What is the what is the solution here? We say Palestinians can't say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. There's people claiming that even saying a ceasefire is actually against Israel's best interests or even anti-Semitic, as a matter of fact. At, at, which, at a certain point, at a certain point, you have to realize that like maybe it's a little disingenuous, and that it's more so to just like squash any amount of yeah, at, like any at amount any of sentiment expressed about, towards Israel. At and, any and, point, should you think about maybe I'm maybe I should ease off this because it is offensive to most the vast majority of Jews. Interpret it in a not nice way despite what people's intentions are, and that maybe it's counterproductive to double, triple, quadruple down on it. No, because I'm not going to. How, that, how does that help the cause of Palestinian freedom? When people go, because I'm not going listen, to, because I'm not going to make concessions say, that I don't, uh, that, that have no, that hold no historic weight, that I'm actually, uh, that I'm actually listening to the Palestinians when they say what okay. they mean. Because I don't have this like secret, uh, because I don't have this like, uh, like secondary assumption that Palestinians actually are sneakily meaning something else. Like they, ooh, they're like actually talking about the destruction said. of Jews. I know that's not what you said. I know that's not what you said. You're not saying that. You're not saying that at all, but there are plenty of people who are implying that. And even then, I'm simply stating the historical precedent for this sentiment. And of course, I'm going to combat misinformation. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to continue combating misinformation in a country that is outright hostile towards Muslims and outright hostile towards Palestinians from the the actual state. Right? There's anti-Semitism. This is absolutely so. Apparently, yeah. In 1966, Hafez al-Assad was saying. We shall only accept war and the restoration of the usurped lands to oust you aggressors and throw you into the sea. Is that where throw into the sea came from? The Hamas charter rejects any alternative to the full, complete liberation of Palestine from the river to the sea. I, was was Assad was uh, Al Assad the leader in fucking uh, 1967? I thought he was later. I thought it was this guy. No. Yeah. So what was he doing? He was just like. He didn't, he had a different role. Oh, he's just, he's probably just part of the party. He was there for 29 years. Hey, he was a minister. Likud party. Between the sea and the Jordan, there will only be Israeli sovereignty. <laughs> yeah, well, oh God. Colonizer mindset. Loner is so bad faith. Okay be true. Anti-Semitism is a gross hate crime. It is completely unacceptable. You and I are in agreement on this. I've, def I've combated anti-Semitism nonstop think, for the past 10 years. there's any people that hear that and they think, you know what, that means no fucking, no, we got to get rid of all the Israelis. Do you think there's anyone that believes that? That we have to get rid of all of the Israeli Jews from, in that area? The river of course, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, there, are anti -Semites, people, there are anti-Semites in the uh, pro-Palestinian movement. Do you think that there it could be potentially misconstrued? It, can it be potentially misconstrued? Absolutely. Anything can be misconstrued. So, Any slogan that, and, can be and, misconstrued. And for all these things, if it can be misconstrued, if it is believed by people to mean it that way, then I don't think Jews are, are uh, outside of their right to say, hey, this thing, this phraseology makes me uncomfortable. And I find it interesting that of all the minority groups, um, and again, people don't consider Jews a minority because they're white. I only say minority group. Or some, some, most Jews are white, not all of them. But mm -hmm. uh, I say it because 60% of all hate crimes in the United States are against Jewish people that make up like less than 1%. Mm -hmm. So I find it interesting that when a minority group says like this phrase makes me uncomfortable and I think the pro proliferation of this phrase is, you know, is uh, <sighs> you're, you're it, saying a minority, you're saying a minority group, people. but, but and, the problem here is this I think it's fair to just say, well, fuck you. I because think, because I the, the, the conversation, the conversation either. revolves around Palestinians, which, you know, Muslims okay. are a minority group in general, Palestinians an even smaller minority group against Zionists, specifically Zionists who are who are maintaining the the. Uh, the, the violent nature of the apartheid state in Israel. So in that structure, there are significant... We're not just talking about Hamas, we're talking about the Palestinian movement at large, yeah, but then we also have to account for whichever people who think that, like, all the Jews there are colonizers who need to leave, so that's, like, the secular problem. And then you've got the people who maybe just unwittingly think that a one-state solution, like, anytime soon would lead to, um, would lead to a peaceful coexistence and not one group throwing the other one into the sea, so it's, yeah, fuck significantly more Zionists in America than there are Zionist Jews, and then there are anti-Zionist Jews. Zionist and anti-Zionist Jews are marginal because of the number of Jews in general on the planet, right? The much larger conversation- I'd be more interested to, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a poll that tells you, maybe I should have looked for this harder, but I want to know what percentage of Palestinians right now believe in expelling Israelis en masse. I think for Israelis, I've seen polls where they've, it's like a, quite a high number of them want to expel the Palestinians. It's like 30 or 40 percent. It was going crazy, but I don't know if I've ever seen polling of it from Palestinians. Hmm. That's what I'd want to say. Is being had between Palestinian activists, which feature anti Zionist Jews and anti Zionists alike, some of which are anti Semitic. I'm not going to say that they're not, okay? Versus the much broader, much larger, 
Zionist community that is comprised almost entirely of Zionist evangelicals, Zionist Christians in general. That's the conversation so that's what, being had about the state of Israel. You can, you can criticize Saudi Arabia and do it from an Islamophobic perspective, but many people at are never point? going to turn around and say you're being Islamophobic when you criticize Saudi Arabia. But when you criticize Israel, because the, the, the foreign ministry has uh, maintained this position and this posture for a very long time, propped up by the likes of the ADL, this conflation is the immediate counter. And I think it's cynically deployed. Is there real, no, real anti-Semitism that occurs? Deployed. Absolutely. It's not cynically deployed. It's not. I mean, maybe some. I don't know. I don't think no, so. I think you're really you, think, you, don't think, you don't think people are cynically saying something is anti-Semitic? Anti do you know how many people call me an anti-Semite? There's like literally fucking groipers online who, I, who... Jewish people don't like that phrase. It makes them uncomfortable. It's used by Hamas. It's used by the fucking jihadist group, uh, the Palestinian jihadist group. It's used by other extremist organizations. It's yes. been co-opted. At what point, at what level of co-opting do you think it's time to phrase this out? At what level of co-optation? I told you already. The SWAT is a great example. Of it's like the Nazis Hitler. are so, gigantic. So it's not They're racist. Not so it's not racist until there's like a full mass systemic genocide. So was the swastika okay in like 1930 and in, in 1920s fucking uh, wait what was the day like, was the swastika okay in like 1926 when the Nazis only had like two percent of the vote? How many votes did they get in 1924? Like six percent, right? Why are the Nazis not showing up in this 1928? I thought they were starting to make gains in 1928. What Nazi party? Oh yeah, they had two percent of the vote in 1928. I forgot they were that far behind in 1928. Shit. Swastika was fine five years before they took power. Shit. No, it's not racist until there is a there is a broad movement behind well, full blown right ethnic word, cleansing right? of Jewish people. Yes, even if it's like in support, there is no in the grand scheme of things throughout history, throughout the history of Palestinian emancipation, which I will reaffirm my support for. I do believe it is just and I believe it is moral throughout that history. Hamas is but a mere blip. OK, Hamas is but a mere blip and even to this day is not uh, has never reached broad popularity. Hamas That's itself is like re, uh, reinstituted as a charter as well. If you want to fucking believe what they're saying, it doesn't matter. But ultimately, the uh, again, they didn't they they didn't replace their or reinstitute their charter. They just wrote a second charter that never supplanted the first one. That's what happened. Their new charter never officially replaced the old one because it was like PR. Right. Yeah. We know this now because of how they. <laughs> Behaved on October the 7th, yeah. The, the mantra itself predated Hamas and will continue to exist as long as there is an occupation. So having a conversation about the optics of a, uh, optics no, of a not, slogan I'm not, I'm when, when 11,000 Palestinians oh, have been ruthlessly slaughtered by that. The highest percentage of the vote that the Nazis ever got was 42%. And that was after censorship and murdering their opponents. The highest percentage of the vote that Hamas ever got was 44%. So, damn, Ethan, you could... Uh, Ethan could go ham here. He could, get the, he could be a proper, he could be a serious debate pedophile right here. Ooh. That same state is, is ridiculous to me. It's I think it's, fair. I think it's it, This characterization is super unfair. I mean, you're oh. making it sound like I'm- In a fair and free election, the Nazis got like 37% was the best that they did. Thereabouts. Fucking like, like, it's got nothing, it, the, the concern for it has nothing to do with what, you know, debate the, the Israeli government yeah. is doing, the ethnic cleansing and murdering Ooh. of Palestinians. It's got nothing to do with that. Invoking that is not fair. 57% of Gazans, by the way, and I'm not criticizing them. I understand why people would support Hamas during all this in, 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 uh, who are in Gaza, but you say that, I mean, they have... Yes, uh, in 2017, in 2017, Hamas changed and, his and, charter and, and in order to gain international recognition. It has, and, it has white support in, in Gaza. And, in, and, in 2017, well, Hamas so changed his saying, charter in order to maintain civil charter. governance factions and also gain international recognition, as had prior terror cells, like the ones that you mentioned, that Ben Shapiro still considers a terrorist, like Yasser Arafat. As they try to do the exact same thing, you might not believe them. Okay, I do think that there are certainly still anti-Semitic people inside of Hamas, of course. But ultimately, all of Palestinian people saying that they support you think violent cool, emancipation. You think Hamas people that are secular and cool and don't hate Jews. Do I think there are Hamas militants? Absolutely, yes, one hundred percent. That's not what Wait, I asked. I said you question. think there's Hamas people that are like chill and secular and they like and they don't hate Jews. Oh, one hundred percent. What? Yeah, you, you can yell at me all day for that. What is chat going? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I thought if you were one, I thought if there were nine, ten people at a table and one of them was a Nazi. Then it's a 10 Nazi table. What happened to that? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought I got that from Hassan. Didn't I? I thought Hassan said that to me a long time ago. Not to me, but it's... You know, if there's uh, two Nazis at a 10-person table, that means there's 10 Nazis. It's not guilt by association, you f an idiot there are <laughs> there are certain uh, there are certain levels where you less you are guilty by association damn oh no 
I 100,000% believe it. There are fucking 18, 19 year olds. They don't know anything except fucking bombs being blown up in their heads. That is simply an express, that is simply a means of violent retaliation. I don't think people operate on being bad and being good. I think people operate on, holy fuck, there's a bomb blowing up in my, in my face that killed my fucking family. I hate this fucking state. And I'm going to join whichever faction will allow me to, uh, uh, will allow me to, to continue fighting, uh, fighting against this, this state. Mm. Not every single person is like motivated by like cleansing uh, every Jewish person uh, in What's Israel. If that was the case, they would not I, have tried to I, make a, they would not have tried. Okay. If that was the case, they would not have tried to change their charter and become a phrase or chant to be, they didn't change the charter. They just wrote a new one that didn't replace the old one. <sighs> PR move. Okay. Fuck. It's duped. Um, a phrase slash chant to be avoided then. Yeah. I would avoid it until we can figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd like to, I'd like to know what it means to the people I'm chanting it with. Because it's a good phrase, you know? And um, I'd like to one day imagine a world where both groups can share the land and live together in peace, and that's what the phrase means to most people saying it. Uh, but not, do you think Palestinians are Nazis? I thought I was being bad faith. What a fucking unbelievably dro drooling, retarded fucking point. I said Hamas. We're talking about Hamas. We're talking about people in Hamas. I think if you join Hamas, it's probably safe to say you're anti-Semitic. No, I don't think Palestinians are Nazis. No, not really. No, no never really had that take, actually. Not really. More uh, and, and recenter their posturing so that they can get international recognition. Whether Personally it was going to happen or not is one other thing. The original one was like... Lona has the reasoning skills of a teenager at best. Okay. okay. How you can say that after just displaying that you have the reasoning of a fucking... Not even, not even the sperm cell. Just like a... Just like a little glint in the eye of the Amazon delivery guy. Those are your reasoning skills, okay? Like, insane. Yeah, Who the yeah no, I, I agree. I agree. Open agree. this link. I mean, this was just happened last week, if you'll pull, pull this up. What is this? It's one Memory of the Memory reports? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's, a clip, it's just a clip of a Hamas. Oh, um, yeah, this uh, is the, yeah, this is the Lebanese guy. Okay, so Hamas, just, just like every other... Just here, play okay. it, just play it, just play it. I know, I've already played this. It's gonna, he's going to say we're going to do a thousand, a million October 7th. Yes, I know. Just play it, just play it. I want people to see it. Okay, here, I'll play it right now. I didn't say you don't want to play it. Somebody, I'll just read it. Somebody else read the... Okay, yeah, it says, because it constitutes security, military, and political catastrophe to the Arabs. I'm reading it. To the Arab and Islamic nation, it must be finished. I can't hear you. Ethan, this is not the own that you think it is. I've already covered this. I already talked about this. <laughs> I just want people to see it. I know. I've, sh I've showed this on my stream. I don't know why. Why is he talking about an own? It's like, <laughs> why is he in such a debate mode? Why is he? <laughs> How is this in good faith? Oh my God, dude. This guy is so annoyed. They just hate it. They hate the fact that like, <laughs> the, the leaders of Hamas are like this. It's such an inconvenience to them. Why you hey, think this me... is like an own? Well, do you think that every single person watching right now has seen every second of your stream? Oh, I I yeah, know, probably. But, okay, I mean, here, we'll just, probably not. We'll, we'll play it again, but I'm simply stating that, like, you know, I'll, I'll read it for you if you want. It's not like a... This I'll read it. Secret, if, you're, if you're going outside to do your, get your dog groomer, I can read yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. All right, here, oh, I'll just shit, play. never mind. The groomer's not even here. Oh, wait, I can't play it on your stream. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I can play it, but it doesn't matter. Here, here. <laughs> okay, play it. Play it. <laughs> yeah. The Alex of Flood is just the first time, and there will be a second, a third, a fourth. Because we have the determination, the resolve, and the capabilities to fight. We will have to pay a price, and yes, we are ready for it. We are called a nation of martyrs, and we are very proud to sacrifice martyrs. We did not want to harm civilians, but, we are com but there were complications on the ground. And there was a party in the area with a civilian population. It was a large area across four. 40 kilometers. <laughs> the occupation must come to an end. Occupation where? In the Gaza Strip. No, I'm talking about all the Palestinian lands. Ooh. Does that mean the annihilation of Israel? He says, yes, of course. The existence of Israel is illogical, but there's cuts in there too. I don't even know what the fuck he's saying, but it doesn't matter. He's saying a bunch of fucking... Uh, yeah, now look at the chat. Now look at the chat. <laughs> yes, see, of course. He's right. Based. <laughs> Agreed. Bro. Oh, God. How many... This is like 20,000 people at this table. Mike from PA with a fucking paragraph that no one gives a fuck about, stupid cunt. All right, let's see. Yes, fucking Zionist bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck, man? That's, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Who said that my chat was just as toxic?
if they had like Ben Gavir on or Smotrich talking to like about wiping out fucking Palestinian town in the West Bank, the people in my chat would be like, oh, yeah, based, uh. like, no, I mean, if they did, they'd, they'd have to, they'd have to bounce. They'd have to bounce. Psychotic, uh, bloodthirsty shit. I agree. This is one of the uh, head. This is a guy I've seen him before. He's a spokesman for Hamas. Yes, there are two different. There are multiple different factions within Hamas right now. There are multiple different factions within Hamas right now. Hold on, let me finish it. The existence <laughs> of Israel is what causes all the pain, blood, and tears. It is Israel, not do, us. Do you, you want me? Do you want me to talk about patient. it? He's going to say one million October seventh as well. Uh, says, it is Israel, not us. We are the victims. There's only like ten seconds left. Therefore, nobody should blame us for the things we do. We are the victims of the occupation. Period. Why do they not? Think that, oh god, it's so therefore nobody should blame us for the things we do on October 7th, on October 10th, on October 1 million. Everything we do is justified. It is justified. Yeah, he even says it in English. He says, it is justified. Okay, it is justified. <laughs> now, let's talk about it because you were you brought this yeah. up as though this is like an army something. one for as many bloodthirsty, uh, uh psychotic freaks okay. exist in fucking Hamas, there is. Uh, a, the same number of non-democratically elected motherfuckers in Israel that say the exact same shit you and I are in agreement on that. I'm saying that defend Israel. I'm saying it because I, I'm just telling you why people are uncomfortable okay. with that phrase, from the river to the sea, because I they know. interpret its use like what this guy is saying, which is that from the river to sea, say that Israel will be destroyed and there'll be no Jews left in the region. For the record, the, from the river to the sea is in the Likud Charter as well, and they do have the material, uh, not only do they have the support in their coalition government, but also the material realities reflect that uh, Israel is a genocidal apartheid state. So when they say <laughs> from the river to the sea, it, you know, so this, uh, this, phrase, is, this, this, this is why I hate the word genocide because you're it's like you put their intentions on equal footing, not assuming what like Israel would do if they had Hamas's intentions, like the other way around, yeah, I don't know. or what Hamas would do if they had Israel's power. And belongs to Israel. That that is a little bit more important. However, I don't even care about that sloganeering. I don't care about what Israel says either. I care about the actions. Okay. Okay. No. Well, I'm, no. No. You made a statement defending this this slogan, and that's the yes, conversation. Yes, I still defend it, and I'm still defending it. Do, listen, it's got nothing to do with defending Israel or not. I'm telling you how people feel about it. So, okay. at what point? At what point does this statement become uh, justifiably anti-Semitic? Your mm -hmm. position is that once basically uh, the government has become full-blown Nazis, or I mean, Palestine, uh, whatever Hamas or whoever has become full-blown Nazis, only then will it be considered uh, to be anti-Semitic, and no, and no sooner. No. That's what. You, okay. No. So when? So when? This person's. This person's statements do not speak for Palestinians as a whole and never has. He doesn't even fucking speak for Hamas. There are two different factions or multiple factions in Hamas. There's the civil governance branch. No, Ethan, there are literally conflicting factions within Hamas. He is the more militant faction in Lebanon. Like, I'm not even defending these guys, but at least like, like this is not a defense of Hamas in any capacity. But you have, to, you have to parse through this. Of course he speaks for one faction is what I'm trying to say. So, so when they are even different... divided amongst themselves, when they are even divided just amongst me, themselves, just, then like just obviously- tell me at what point? At what point? How how divided are Hamas in terms of their positions on October 7th and their intentions for Israel? I wouldn't be surprised if there are people in Hamas who want to spend more time taking care of the local population rather than rockets and shit like that. It's probably true. But when we talk about factionalism in Hamas, what's their spokesman's name? Because he's got that fucking funny thing in his head. But he's the spokesman. Yeah. He's like the Hamas spokesperson for, he goes on BBC, Channel 4. Jewish Chronicle. Do you have a name? Ghazi Hamad. Ghazi. Nazi Hamad. I'm sorry. He's a senior Hamas leader. Okay. Member for 25 years. Chief editor of a newspaper. Spokesman for Hamas. Yeah, he's got the role of spokesman. He's not one of many spokesmen. Is he? Is he just the spokesman? I feel like he speaks for Hamas because he's the spokesman. <laughs> it's just, he was deputy foreign minister in 2012. Formerly the chairman of the Border Crossings Authority, now a senior Hamas leader. Okay. I feel like this guy's doing a bit of speaking for Hamas, you know? That's why he's, uh, that he goes around the news channels and speaks <laughs> for Hamas. Bro. Imagine if an IDF spokesman said shit like that. Bro, if an IDF soldier said shit like that, Hassan would be fucking screaming about it from the rooftops. Yeah. If I, just like some random IDF little fucking... One of those uh, IDF TikTok girls, right? If, if she just made a TikTok saying that, like Hassan would go absolutely mental, yeah. Um, would you agree by Hassan's own standards, Hassan is being a bit of a debate perf here, is where is the concession? Can name anyone, anyone name the concession he made? No, yeah, uh, thanks for the 499. Yeah, he's being Lola a little box. bit. You smarmy, cuck bad. He's being a little bit debate bro -y. That's that's for sure, yeah. Is this phrase allowed to be offensive when there's like uh when, i when told you i told you debated. so so not you said nazi germany no i said the level of popularity and the intentions of palestinians 
have never been historically or in contemporary society to ethnically cleanse Jewish people out of Israel or ethnically cleanse Jews as a whole, right? Depending on who you talk to on the on the side of, of defending Israel or or on the side of like genuine concern, expressing genuine concern over a statement like this, it Hamas ranges from though. it doesn't matter what Hamas's goals is when Hamas in and of itself in this very moment has never captured a broad yes, popularity and is literally not it, it's it's not popular, it won't be popular, it will never be popular. There are Palestinian Christians living under Hamas. Hamas there are too fair. many there are too many different opinions. Uh, oh, there's a kid. <laughs> I mean, Hamas is, they're not as popular as some people make them out to be, but they're, they're popular. It's like a third of the vote, right? Yeah. Um, when I'm done here, we'll go hang out and take it easy. And feel better. They're all doing like the cuddlies with a fucking kid now. <laughs> okay. Right. Now a, let's here, get back to, to genocide. Okay. Like, <laughs> Allahu Akbar means God is great. But for the longest time in American politics, Allahu Akbar was seen as a threat. Okay, constitute a threat. A valedictorian literally said, a one nation under Allah in her fucking speech. A couple this, was, this is really bad. Yeah, it, it was actually insane that people freaked out at Allahu Akbar because everyone says that. Like, Christians say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, well, I don't think that's maybe the best analogy. It just depends. Why is he saying Akbar? Is that, oh, whatever. A couple years back and people got mad at her instead of saying one nation under God. We cannot massage our expectations in a morally righteous cause to the, the uh, to tailor the needs, to suit the needs of those who are ostensibly defending the maintenance of an unjust structure. I think it's ridiculous to, to consider- That was a, a Voss sentence, like this, what the fuck? Especially as someone who takes anti-Semitism very seriously. I don't, think that it's, I don't think that it's appropriate. Mark Lamont Hill was literally fired from CNN a couple of years prior for saying from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free at the end of his speech at the UN, okay? This man is a scholar. This man is a, is, a, is a historian. He delivered a speech in front of the entirety of the United Nations, and CNN fired him. Why I'm did they assuming, fire him? Well, I'm assuming that you don't believe Israel has the right to exist. I don't mm. believe Israel has a right to exist as an apartheid state. No, I don't. I, I don't believe right. that an apartheid because, state well, can continue. From the river to the sea essentially means the state of Israel is going bye-bye. Duh. The reason why I brought up the historic reference <laughs> point is because in its, uh -huh. in its charter in 1960, I think it was like 1965, the PFLP that first implemented this, uh, this slogan literally said they wanted the, the Zionist entity to be dismantled so that there's a democratic secular state for all Jews living in Israel and all Palestinian Muslim Christians alike. Hold on. Who said that? The PFLP said that, apparently. Um, but it was, it was also adopted in the... The sentiment was also adopted in the PNC, the Pas Palestinian... Whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, yeah, right. By the Palestinian National Council, yeah. The initial charter. But apparently they said they should remove the majority of the Jewish population from the country. So, Did the PFLP want all the Jews to stay in historic Palestine in the 60s? Why did they, why did they target civilians? Was that just bad tactics? What did they actually say? Embrace the Palestinian identity rooted in radical third world oriented nationalism, identifies Marxist Leninist two years later. Single, democratic, potentially socialist Palestinian state in which all peoples would enjoy citizenship. Likewise, Fatah leaders shift from promoting the expulsion of settlers to embracing all Jews as citizens in a secular democratic state. 69. If we are fighting a Jewish state of a racial kind which had driven the Arabs out of their lands, it is not so as to replace it with an Arab state which would in turn drive out the Jews. We are ready to look at anything with all our negotiating partners once our right to live in our homeland is recognized. By 69. So we're we just talking about for like between 64 and 69. It meant throwing them out. It's a bit different. Was this just from Feta? Yeah, and PFLP. Okay. That maybe changes something a bit. This is what Barack thought Arafat's intentions were, what, to throw them all out? I wonder if I could see polling from what Palestinians think about that today. Maybe before October 7th, preferably. Conversely, the slogan has come to be interpreted in some ways advocating for a democratic state of Palestine, encompassing what is today the Israeli and Palestinian territories where individuals of all regions would have equal citizenship. Okay, yeah. Oh, to turn it into a one-state solution with Jews and Arabs. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like in the peace process, they said that they thought that's what Arafat was going for. He didn't think they'd kick out the Jews. Yeah, okay. I love it that Al Jazeera will give me one half of this data, but not the other one. Half of Israeli Jews want Palestinians expelled. What's it the other way around? I know that one. I want the other way around. Why can't I find the other way around? Whatever. That's a huge number. Jesus. All right. A lot of Israelis, like you also personally mentioned, right? believe that a secular singular state would mean genocide. But you also have uh, been reasonable and have come to terms with uh, the, the Israeli fears being overrepresented in this conversation. And this is the exact same conversation being played out once again. 
when I talk about emancipatory movements, I feature the actual people that are being wronged in this process and not the considerations of those who are defending, maybe not directly oppressing those uh, people who are, are asking for a just, uh, a, a just cause that are morally on the right side, but those who are defending those who are wronging them. I don't care yeah, about the considerations like the of the Palestinians. Yeah. Israel the Palestinians are the ones being wronged, which I agree with. Yeah. Then, then they can't be, then they can use that phrase. With, they can say, use phrases with impunity about Israel. I mean, if they said, you know, kill all the Jews, then no, of course not. That's not a, a what, phrase what that they can use community. What if they said, um, Israel shouldn't exist? Ooh. Israel shouldn't exist? Israel shouldn't exist. Uh, it depends. If they're, it depends, contextually. It, it's, entirely about, say, it's, say, entirely about, it's entirely about whether or not it is contextually appropriate. It's like the fucking OK sign. Nazis use it, you know what I mean? Right. But contextually mm. speaking, if you hit the fucking OK sign, it doesn't mean you're a Nazi. Hold on, if hold someone on. is talking about what? Israel cannot exist <laughs> in the, within the framework that it currently exists, then yeah. How many people totally are talking about it like that, though? Like, I know you are. And in, like, your political circles and stuff, people, people do talk about that. But when someone out, you know, just in the world says Israel shouldn't exist, I don't think, you know, I wouldn't assume their intentions are always... Uh, pure that yeah, precise, precisely why i say context is, is appropriate context is right, but in most context, context is important I no i don't think in most context i don't agree with that it's like saying america doesn't, if, if you america say, shouldn't exist in the way that it does is like when i say it it's different i'm an american citizen when you and i can say it weight, easily though. doesn't have any weight there's no terrorist group trying to fucking kill americans what? yes there, wait, i thought i don't i don't get it i thought hamas was crossing the fucking southern border to come and destroy america right like well i know it hasn't happened yet that, but... i know it is crazy but people are saying that i agree it's absolutely fucking nuts that yeah. they think that but so, um anyway that's, 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 i'm just telling you the jewish perspective that's why people don't no, when they hear it from the, no, you're, not telling the, the jewish perspective. you're telling me you can't say it's just a jewish perspective when I, i'm telling you because jews just, just see what the nobles israel, have to say but when jews around the world hear someone say israel shouldn't exist from the river to the sea which is how it's interpreted they oh. see that again i keep bringing this up it, they see it as a genocide okay okay do you, and so, do you, okay, and so can i ask you a question they, and I'm just telling you. I'm just telling okay, you. That's okay, what okay. It is. Uh, the, the perspective of like, uh, you know, uh, like I said, it, it's not every single Jew or like the Jewish perspective. Jews are not a monolith. I think that it's it's uh, it's ridiculous to make the assertion when like again, Jews, anti-Zionist Jews are at the forefront of of criticizing Israel and have been using these uh, have been using this term in perpetuity and therefore comparing them to capos is like I think very inappropriate. Dude, no, my point in comparing them is to say you can find support on any movement by anybody. You know, it, no, it's but just that's not, not. But that's not a broadly. Not but that's not say, like a. Hey, it that's not a tiny, minuscule percentage of the Jewish population. That's a very important percentage of, of Jewish scholars. It's a very important percentage of Israel. What, Jewish voice for peace? or uh, Police scholars, an important percentage of Jewish so people in general. You're saying that you know that there's a large portion of Jewish people around the world that say, from the river to the sea. Not a large portion of Jewish people around the world, but I don't concern so myself. Talking? I don't concern 100? myself with what Jewish people think about a particular slogan when I'm talking about a particular slogan <laughs> that is supposed to be when I'm giving you the historical context of where the slogan comes from. Not necessarily like how uh, how Jewish people perceive it, especially when Jewish people on the on either side of this equation are a tiny like a tiny sliver of the conversation. Anti-Zionist Jews do not uh, make up the broader movement, just like, like just like Zionist Jews do not make up the broader yeah. movement of defending Israel. It's it's literally we're living we're living on a planet where invoking that some Jews there's Jewish people that agree with you is, is uh, I'm just saying I don't think it's a good argument. That's all. No, I'm simply the reason why I mentioned that is because you if you consider it to be if you consider it to be an eradication that are like uh, in favor of the occupation too. No, the reason why I brought that, Ethan, and the reason why I think it's a disingenuous framing to compare it to the Confederate flag or to say that Jewish that, you know Jewish people uh, agreed with like Hitler or whatever is because you know a lot of these Jews who are anti-Zionist. You probably respect a lot of these Jews who are anti-Zionist. Do you think that they would actually fucking defend a phrase that unironically is is pushing for their ethnic cleansing? Do you think that that is the case? You're not I ask you in all sincerity. About a real measurable group of people. You're just using Jewish people as well, a some people would. Some people are stupid, but <laughs> yeah, okay. token. That's not oh. true. That's and who are these people? That's, You're talking about 100, 200? I mean, what are we talking I'm about I'm talking here? about the tens of thousands I'm, of I mean, Jews that have been demonstrating on the streets since And you've asked them, and you've asked them how they feel about from the river to the sea? You've pulled them on that. There are, there are literally written, uh, there, there's enough, there's so much written uh, 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 articles on this exact same thing, this sloganeering and what it actually means, yes. Sure. They're the I ones mean, who are screaming sides. it. They are on the ones both? who are screaming it. Yeah. Really? Show me. Show me all the Jews screaming from the river to the sea. I'd like to see a fucking video of that. Even one would actually be quite uh, quite surprising. Find me one video of a Jewish person see screaming from the river to the sea. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, I can definitely find you a group of Palestinians or Arabs that are like, no, you, we should definitely occupy uh, Gaza. I always see polls like this from the Washington Institute. Um, new poll in the West Bank shows a shift from maximalist views of 2020, whereas there's top national priority reclaiming all of historic Palestine from the river to the sea. See, what I don't get is why are there two questions here? Reclaiming from the river to the sea, but then also achieving a one-state solution in which Arabs and Jews will have equal rights. You see how river to the sea is always a lot more popular than what people say it means. People say river to the sea means one-state solution with uh, equal rights, right? So why are they two separate questions? And why is one so much more popular than the other one? I don't get, I don't understand what that means. Why don't, I don't think I'm told what that means. Ending occupation to receive a two-state solution. It seems to be that the translation is different in Hebrew. Did they ask them in Hebrew? Hassan should explain that. 
Does anyone know? Does anyone here actually know? Because I don't know how discourse works in fucking West Bank and Gaza and shit. Why do those mean different things in a poll? They wouldn't have pulled them in Hebrew. It's a fucking West Bank poll. Yeah. Preference for armed struggle, intifada. Okay, it's not surprising. It's all consistent. The PA should stop security coordination with Israel. Mostly agree. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to know what the fuck. How do I even... Okay. That, that's what, difference, right. what, what difference is that? Because I can use them as a token too. It doesn't mean that what Wait, what? That doesn't even I make sense. That doesn't, fucking... that doesn't even... What you just said doesn't even make sense. Why? Right here. Find me a video of it. You know what I mean? Let's see. I want I to mean, see all here, these. Here, this is from Jewish Voice for Peace Action. Hey. As well. The full phrase is from the Riveted Sea, Palestine will be free. If you believe that freedom for Palestinians means eradicating Jews, it that's says that, more about you it. than... Let me see it before okay. you. Let me see what this is. Do you think these guys are capos? It's just... It's really... Okay. Do you think these guys are capos? They're criticizing Representative Debbie Wasserman Wasserman Schultz. Uh-oh. So let's see. This, Stop to, uh, this, this group, Jewish Voices for Peace Action. What do you know about this group? What do you mean? What do I know about what this group? This is one of the forefront. This is one of the leading advocacy movements of, of anti-Zionist Jews in this country. Alongside Jewish Voice for Peace, you also have Jews for Economic and Racial uh, Freedom. I don't know if that's, if they're like a leading, I thought, I thought Jewish Voice for Peace were really, really fringe. Capo. <laughs> yeah, God. What, like the, the Jewish fucking prison guards in the concentration camps who had to, had to do admin roles. <laughs> Yeah. Don't you see how fucked up it is to be like this group of people say it's not offensive, therefore the rest of you shouldn't care no, about you, it? No, you asked. You said show me a Jew, and oh, I didn't dude. just. No, show me a Jew screaming from the river to the sea. You show me a tweet. I mean, on Twitter, people brigade any fucking thing. Like this is thirty-six thousand likes. This is these guys are these guys are at the forefront. Be. These guys are at the Hold forefront on. of anti-Zionism. He's kind of hanging himself there if he's saying just show me one Jew. Of course, you can find one Jew screaming from the river to the sea. Yeah. There's groups. Of course, protest. of course, Wait. there's groups. Dude. Ethan, you asked me. I could probably find a Jew to scream river to the sea, in the Free Palestine movement. They're big. Yeah, I think the problem is, is that um, <clears throat> all I hear from other Jewish people is that they hate them because I know if I've heard all these rumors that I don't know how to verify, but apparently like they're not even run by Jewish people. Apparently their their HQ is in fucking Lebanon, which I just I find really <laughs> strange to believe. Um, but also that one of their <clears throat> Twitter one of their Twitter accounts proof. That's why I don't know. I'm saying I, like I've just heard that, but I did see that um, that yeah that Instagram post from. Like this one, where they talk about the myth of Israeli civilians on the Jewish Voice for Peace Detroit. Unless that's like not the right Instagram account. Maybe I could look at that. Um, unless that's not like an official one. I mean, that's them. They've got their email address and everything. Like they're. I gave you other, an other, answer, and now do you, you don't like the answer, do you and now you're saying. Majority this is, people retweeting that are Jewish? That doesn't change anything. You asked me to. You asked anything, me. Dude. You asked me. For a particular, you asked me to to literally. First of all, there's Jews in my said, chat right now. I said, show me right a now. video. I said, there, show me are, a video. Not there are tweet. Jews in my chat right now that say it all the time. Not that you care, because like clearly, when I show you not just a single Jew, like you asked, but what literally to rely entire, on that argument. It's, literally, it's, an entire why, movement. Why? I don't understand still, why. Yeah, I guess when you search it on Instagram, it's like the first one that comes up. It's these guys, and uh, yeah. But I probably need to find some more examples if I was going to build a case against them. Why you rely on that argument? It's crazy. It's silly. You asked me. The reason no, why I'm mentioning is because do you think you these said, are bad people? Do you no, think no, these are? You brought it up. You do you think these are anti-Semitic? Do you think that these are anti-Semitic Jews? Like the people? Oh, because Ethan said, "Show me one Jew," and now Ethan's getting held down really hard to it because Hassan's in like fucking debate um, serial killer mode. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the not so Jewish voice for peace. Ilhan Omar. Just an article. I want. Pr I want pictures. I gotta look at the pictures. Okay. What is what is this website? Can I trust this person? Uh, what the fuck? You said there's tons of Jews that are saying this. Yes, of course. Show me one video of a Jewish person saying it. You sent me. You sent me a tweet. Here to protest. You said you'd find me a video. I'm gonna literally call up Noah Colwin to to have him say it. I don't care what one person says about it. I'm talking. You know what I mean? Oh well, god. You said show me a Jew. I'm showing you. A video of a Jew screaming from the river to the sea. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call up I'm gonna call up Noah right now. I don't want to talk to Noah. I don't give a fuck about who that is. I don't know anything about him. I, what do you mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him so he can fucking scream it. <laughs> he can scream it at you. Okay, no, so not you, the you know one guy who will scream it. Therefore, uh, dude, this this argument you're making is fucking is ridiculous. What do you mean the argument is that's ridiculous? Like saying, that's like saying if I can find a Palestinian to say the occupation is justified, then then um you know then saying the occupation is justified isn't anti. -Palestinian. No, because the morality behind what he's saying is incorrect. The morality behind what from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, is correct. That's the major well, difference. That's not how the Jews see it. They okay, see it now, as. But now we're having two. Now we're having two separate conversations. We're having no, two separate conversations. Yeah, Ethan really fucked himself with that. Show me one Jew point because I and and I mean normally I would let it slide if it was like a friend because whatever. Um, because I think it's better to win on more substantial points, but because Hassan here clearly behaving like a debate necrophile is <laughs> shit. Stations. 
If Dude, you and I are I'm both in agreement on Palestinian you. emancipation, which you say you are, and I believe you, then why would, like, if you believe in Palestinian emancipation and you don't believe in a permanent occupation over Gaza, who gives a fuck if you can find a Palestinian that says, no, eviscerating Gaza is correct? Like, the conversation is not on the boundaries of, like, Jewish, Jewish people, people versus Palestinians. The conversation is on Zionism statement. versus anti-Zionism. People, the Jewish people do not interpret that as a morally just statement. I mean, obviously, that is completely subjective. Well, the reason why, the reason why I mentioned uh, that, that you're wrong in this, it, there are, I'm, sh I'm sure there are a lot of Jewish people that don't interpret it as morally just. They think that it Therefore, means, like, ethnic cleansing. No, you but what you're supposed else. to do in that situation is not to immediately go, all right, well, Jewish people don't think this is appropriate, so... Uh, I'm gonna so go find allowed. I'm gonna go find a group of black people who say the Confederate flag isn't racist. I'm gonna go find Ethan. Please stop. Know, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You're, don't no, do that. you're being ridiculous. This no, point Ethan, is you're making a conflation that However makes you look horrible. You Why don't you see this? You? It's fucking nothing. <laughs> Ethan, I'm you're making you, a conflation that literally makes you look so bad. Uh, please stop doing that. Please. Doing what? Doing what? Stop. Stop bringing up slogans of an oppressive party in comparison to slogans that come from the oppressed side. It is, it is a false I'm conflation. Telling you, all I'm telling conflation. you is why people find it offensive. You don't want to hear it, and that's fine. Or you disagree. I'm telling you why people... Wait, but he keeps saying oppressed or oppressed, but even Hassan believes that the oppressed can't... They don't have carte blanche to do anything, to say anything. If he said kill all the Jews... So, clearly, we have some threshold for what's okay to say if you're oppressed. Like, uh, I don't know. Personally, I think the facts are the facts. If an oppressed person is being dumb, call them out. <laughs> Go over to, I don't know, Somalia and scream at them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Make it your fucking life's calling to find oppressed people who are being silly and destroy them and upload it to YouTube. I don't know. You're, they see it as a call for the destruction of Israel. I, I, That's really, how they I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say because, like, Israelis really, is basically they see things through the lens of everybody wants to kill. Do you do you think so a black white supremacist that defends the Confederacy is akin to a Jewish person that is defending Palestinian emancipation and saying this? You, you can find anybody to agree with any I fucking know, but, point. But, that, that, that the existence of somebody agreeing with a point is not proof of any fucking thing. Whoa, Central, there, there are, but that but there are a ton of white people who think Black Lives Matter means fuck all whites. And it says from the Jordan River to the, to the Mediterranean Sea is a regime of Jewish supremacy at the top. Oh, he's just trying to help him because of the Bet Salem report and apartheid. Okay. Only Black Lives Matter. That doesn't change the reality behind the slogan, and that doesn't change the morality behind the activism. And the same goes for Palestinian emancipation. Just because people who are in defense of Israel, okay, people who are defending Israel and its continuation of an apartheid regime because the, the opposite makes them feel like it's going to be genocidal, doesn't change the reality of the slogan behind it and doesn't change the, the, the morality behind the actions. I am in support of Palestinians. I'm in support of all people living freely. I'm in support Oh, I am too. Stop putting these fucking words in my mouth. Like I don't. The way you set that up is fucked up, and that's why people get so angry. No, I'm not putting words I'm in your mouth. But you're putting I'm, words I'm in your mouth. I'm explaining to you why people find it offensive. That's it. Here I'm not. You know what I mean? Voice. I'm telling you how people interpret that. And, and like when people double. It's popular in Arabic because it rhymes. Uh, does it mean the same words? Is it just a coincidence that it also rhymes in uh, in English, or does it, is it different words? It's just a catchy way to talk about the geographical area in question. So did people just get pissed off because it's in the Hamas charter or because Hamas uses it? Like, it, you know, it's like river and sea. People like rivers and seas, you know? It's like aesthetic. But, yeah. Oh, it just means from the river to the sea. Oh, do they not say Palestine will be free? Do they just say from the river to the sea? Uh, did we add that on as uh, Westerners? You can't read Arabic, no? <laughs> like... My dad wasn't really around when I was a kid, so I don't really learn Arabic that much. Yeah. People down on it and they use it and they, I mean, people, it's, it's offensive to the vast majority of Jews. I'm telling you, despite how many to, you know that you could fit into a room to that agree with you. I'm this telling is going you to, this is going to literally, like, I'm telling you, I, I don't know why you won't listen to me. I'm trying to, as your friend, I'm, I'm seriously urging you to reconsider your position what? because if this you are. Position. I'm, I'm literally just explaining why people find it offensive. I, what is my position exactly that is, that is a problem? What's my position? Your position comes along with the false conflation that the false conflation that this slogan is harmful to Jewish people. A slogan, is, a, a slogan that is a slogan that is otherwise you, not harmful. The way I see it is I would have definitely been a bit suspect of people chanting that shit like when Hamas were doing October 7th. But in general, I don't think I've ever really had kicked up that much of a fuss about it. Um, maybe that's because there's something I'm missing. Like, it's not really the thing I would die on a hill on or anything, but. And it's kind of sad. Harmful Jewish, Jewish people, people can be used in an anti-Semitic fashion. A slogan Jewish is, people believe it is harmful to them. But that doesn't change the reality of the slogan or the fact that there are plenty of Jewish people who are in support of Palestinian emancipation who use it. It's a slogan at the end of the day for a morally righteous cause. Just because, just because... But there's also fucking those, terrorists that want to kill a bunch of Jews also amongst that cause, despite it not being a lot. That's how fucking Jewish people and Israelis interpret it. I'm just telling you, dude. Okay, Whether Ethan, you agree or not, I'm just explaining it. Ethan, I, I know, you're, you're just explaining it, except the... <laughs>
Okay. You're not gonna you're not gonna convince Jewish people that um. It doesn't matter. I don't care about convincing Jewish people. But first of all, I I I, I care about convincing uh, whoever will actually listen and and try to understand from a charitable perspective what I'm trying to say. But ultimately, yes, I am not. So you're saying, yeah, you're, people are saying because when Islamists say it, when Islamists say it, sorry, Islamists, when they say it, they mean get rid of all the the Jews. Yeah. So so it's. But do we have phrases that are less? Yeah, it's just it just muddies things a bit, doesn't it? The ADL has an article explaining why it's anti-Semitic. The ADL thinks everything's anti-Semitic. I don't care about them. Fuck them. Like, um, I don't know. I'll just think about it. What I really want to do, if I uh, could make it to London, I'd maybe go around and I want to see, like, some polling on the people at these protests and just see what, and just ask them what they mean about it. Just because but there's also fucking those, terrorists that want to kill a bunch of Jews also amongst that cause, despite it not being a lot. That's how fucking Jewish people and Israelis interpret it. I'm just telling you, dude. Okay, whether Ethan, you agree or not, I'm just hey. explaining it. Ethan, I know you're you're just explaining it. Except that, okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna convince Jewish people that um. It doesn't matter. I don't care about convincing Jewish people. But first of all, I I, I oh yeah, this was another one that I saw. I remember this one. The ADL will give the Steel Man version, though. I don't think they will. I think they'll just soy out and say that they don't like Israel. <laughs> yeah. Blood libel, second century. False claims of consumed blood. Blood libels were common in Nazi Germany and have led to the massacres of millions of Jews over the last 2,000 years. Jewish Voice of Peace frequently shares the work of cartoonist Carlos Latuf, a virulent anti-Semite who frequently draws blood libels and placed second in Iran's 2006 International Holocaust Cartoon Competition. In the summer of 2022, JVP posted this blood libel on its social media. Notice the Israeli soldiers cheering with blood cups. Yeah, I, I feel like if you were a Jewish organization criticizing Israel, you'd be a bit... <laughs> I didn't even see that when I first noticed. <laughs> what do we think, chat? Do we think this is anti-Semitic? <laughs> what do we think? What's the assessment? I've always had a feeling Jewish voice repeats were a bit fucking weird. Um, 3% chance it's wine. Eh. Eh. God. No, they're the oppressors. <laughs> I care about convincing uh, whoever will actually listen and, and try to understand from a charitable perspective what I'm trying to say. Okay. But ultimately, yes, I am not going to move on this position because, because... People are uncomfortable by the slogan, considering what the slogan actually is. There's no reason to concede. There are certain things that I find that's not true. There are reasons. I mean, if you like wrote, you said, if you wrote Hamas from the uses it, terrorist if, groups use it, and so like there are. It's what the ADL saying is true. I think the ADL are fine with their fact checking. It's just that they'll they'll be like this post is uh, anti-Semitic because it's uh, wanted to hurt, take Israel, but then you read the thing and it's actually just not that bad. It's just it's not even like that controversial. That's often what happens with the ADL. I don't think they're like they they make up facts though. No. The problem is just that they, they seem to see anti-Semitism like everywhere. Yeah. Reasons, whether you agree with them or not, is it you? I, you're and you're just. Hamas says free Palestine as well. Does that mean free Palestine right. means eradication of Jews? It's in their charter too. Um. No, it doesn't mean that. Okay, what's what's the difference then? I mean, obviously the context matters, right? Some people mean it that but way. That's what I don't. said. That's what I said mm -hmm. from the start. Right, but but well, so pre free Palestine in it doesn't suggest the destruction of Israel, which is how, again, people interpret it. No, that's not true. Plenty of, plenty of Jews, that, plenty of Zionist Jews that I've, I've seen think free Palestine means the destruction. Free Palestine's a bit more ambiguous, though, because free Palestine can mean two states <laughs> uh, very easily. River to the sea doesn't necessarily, river to the sea means, like, free of Israel, like, all of it. Just, yeah, it's like, a, it's much more geographically clear, but yeah. Uh, uh. Of, uh, of Jews. Not just well, Israel, the entirety of the I, international Jewish population. I, I don't think that, because from the river to the sea, in the saying itself, is people interpret it as the annihilation of Israel. That's how people see it. Okay, when you want to understand what Black Lives Matter means, do you go to white people to ask them, or do you go to black people and, and, and ask them what it means? Who do you listen to? Hey, what? When you want to understand <laughs> the purpose behind a slogan, do you go and ask what, 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 what white people think about Black Lives Matter, or do you ask black people what they mean when they say Black Lives Matter? Uh, I would... Oh. When you want to understand the meaning behind the slogan, Black Lives Matter, do you ask white... That's so bad faith. It's about freedom across Israel instead of an apartheid. Nah, shut the fuck up. No. You think... What percentage of people saying, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free? Palestine. 
from the river to the sea. What percentage of people who say that do you think are alluding to fucking like two state solution with the 67 borders? What are you talking about? What? You can say different kinds of one state. I understand that one. I understand it's not necessarily like I would never take someone just saying that as a sign that they're anti-Semitic. Never. I would never do that. But to say that what percent like stop, stop gaslighting me. You're being a fucking you're being a you're being a fortuner. How would you why would you say that? Like <laughs> you know, it's, it's a very ge geographically fucking centered phrase. Look at it. Look at it. Boom. Ignore the paraglider. Okay, that's that's nothing. Uh I I Okay. Sorry. That's just, that's just so stupid. <laughs> Why would you say that? People, what they think it means, or do you ask black people what they think it means? It's like me saying from like, from Lisbon to Moscow, Scotland will be like, <laughs> Scotland will, <laughs> will prevail. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> no, I just mean like, <laughs> Scotland's in between those two places, right? It's... Um, I guess I probably, I would probably just ask, uh, anyone involved in that movement. I don't know. Okay, that's great. Are there black people in the Black Lives Matter movement that like legitimately hate white people and like maybe want to even kill it's them? Scotland, yeah. I'm sure there are. There's one. You can find one of everything, okay? Like, I'm sure. Does what that, you're doing, essentially, with your does first that, does that you change? can choose as tokens. Does that change? Ooh. No, listen to my words. Does that change the broader movement and the morality behind Black Lives Matter? Or does that change what people mean when they say Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter doesn't... Again, it's what's in the phrase, dude. Saying white li or the the thing is like bla saying black lives matter doesn't insinuate the other lives don't matter. It's the, it's in the fucking phrase, bro. I don't know what to tell you. From, From the, the river to the, the sea, the Palestine phrase. will be free. Also, doesn't feature. Israel is twisting the meaning. You're coming across very pro-Zionist. People are marching with that slogan. They're not asking for genocide. I didn't say. I just said you you ignored me. I just said. It can mean different versions of one state. I'm sure for some people, it means get all the Jews out. For some other people, it probably means share the land and live in peace, okay? I said that, you fucking idiot. I did not say, however, that it, the point I'm making is that it doesn't mean two states, okay? It means one state. That's a starting point. And then you go from there and be like, okay, what kind of one state? You're sounding pro-Zionist. I'm not even gonna elaborate, it's just... Uh... From the river to the sea, we right, should destroy on. Israel and kill all the Jews. You're the one who's saying that that is the secondary implication behind it. I'm just telling you how people see it, bro. I know, you but disagree. if you were to tell me this is how white people feel about Black Lives Matter, I would say I don't care how white people feel in this regard because yeah, my business Black is Lives not Matter, about explaining what this... There's my, no what inherent... Bro, there's nothing in Black Lives Matter that's saying that white lives don't matter in the there's fucking nothing in What exists currently in the space between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean? I don't know. What exists between Lisbon and uh, Moscow? <laughs> there's a couple of countries that exist between uh, the river and the sea, potentially. A couple of them. Greater Scotland. Yeah. yeah. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That implies Jewish people must be eradicated or Israel must be destroyed well, and Jewish people in it must people, be killed. A lot of people disagree because you're talking no. about from the river yes, to the sea. Yes, a lot of people who are not Palestinian and a lot of people who are not anti-Zionist disagree. Anti-Zionists, <laughs> on the other hand, don't uh, agree. And they're the ones who are using the slogan. So why would I, I'm asking you, if I'm not going to ask a white person who is against Black Lives Matter why would uh, what they feel about this uh, slogan, why would I go to... Uh, in the broadest well, majority, Zionists, both Jewish and Christian, why would I ask them what they think about a Zionist, uh, anti-Zionist slogan? I already explained it, but you don't you don't want to hear me. Wait, no, I, I'm asking you. Like, it's why, not in the, the fucking name, slogan itself it? says people interpret it as destruction of Israel. I know it doesn't say let's destroy Israel, but, it's not. but that's from the river to the sea is mainland Israel. Okay, Ethan. That's it, man. That's Ethan? how people see it. I, no, not, you, can't, you can't simply say that's Ethan? how people see it. And, and it is, though. There. But it doesn't matter how how Zionists see it. What matters is e how anti-Zionists speak it. Anti-Zionists of all backgrounds, just like Zionists of all backgrounds, will sometimes cynically and other times because they're misguided, think that this spells the genocide of the Jews. The thing is, I don't really like, like, I don't really like the way Ethan's kind of putting this point forward and I'd probably have to think about it a bit more or just actually maybe see what some polling says or something, but I don't know. But like the way Hassan's arguing this is so bad. It's so silly. It does not. Can you, like, do you care that your your chat is calling you racist? Do you make any attempt to modify? I like, have not looked at my chat. At <laughs> <that>. I have <laughs> not looked at my chat at all. But you I have just opened it. But don't you have moderators? Do you care at all about what I, your audience says? There's 32,000 people in here right now. The reason why people are saying that is because of the conflations that you made, Ethan. Uh -oh. That's what, like, I can't I can't stop people from viewing you a certain way. If you're going to make these comparisons that they've heard from actually racist people, you literally implied that Jewish Voice for Peace would be akin to a capo in this circumstance. Oh. You're saying things that they've heard from racist people. Wait. I can't blame them for calling you racist because you're saying things that have been said by racist people. But not necessarily everyone who says it is racist. Like from the river to the sea? Like... 
Do you think that's maybe where the sentiment's coming from? Because some people who say it are like pro Hamas and they support that intention. Um, hmm. Loner box, you smarmy cuck bastard. Well. Well. Sorry, I just uh I just unleashed my uh inner debate. Buffalo Bill, I don't know. <laughs> debate segregationist moment. <laughs> yeah. You are fucking so bad faith for saying that, and fuck you for even like putting that out in the world. That was not my point. My point was that you can find anybody to defend any fucking thing. That was my point. You also made a comparison that this slogan is akin to the, like the swastika changed uh, over the course of its its trajectory as a symbol for Nazi Germany, and then also on top of that stated that the Confederate flag means something different to the Southern folk that want to uh, promote heritage, not hate. Those people, when they say that, are cynically saying heritage, not hate. It doesn't mean slavery to me. Those people are in the wrong. These people that are saying from the river to the sea, Palestine will be pr uh, free, are not in the wrong. They're in the right. That's the major difference. They are morally righteous, and their slogan in and of itself is on the exact opposite side of what uh, the Confederacy implies. That's why a better comparison would still be to make it make a comparison to black lives matter in the way that some white people foresee or, or perceive black lives matter and if i'm not going to listen to what white people who are i guess the difference is is that there were there were there any like anti-white terrorists who uh of any capacity who wanted to say like black lives matter is their fucking rallying cry <laughs> as a statement of their you intentions uh, it's a bit more nuanced than black lives matter i think um i don't even know if you can think of an analogy it's quite a complex one uh, Mad Flamingo, thanks for the 199. Do you live in Scotland proper? What do you mean, Scotland proper? <laughs> what the f nah. Nah, I live in peripheral Scotland. I live on the colonial borders of Scotland. What's that? Like, Jamaica? Yeah. In the Scottish territories. <laughs> against Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter have to say about the slogan itself, then why would I listen to people who are defending Israel on what this slogan means? Because the broader majority, the broadest majority of people who consider this to be an anti-Semitic slogan are, you, in my opinion, deploying it cynically. Like, not you. you. Mm. Not By you. the way, I'm not even defending the... I'm not even, like, I'm just, tell, I'm just trying to tell you guys how it feels. And I'm fucking shocked that you don't care that people in your chat are saying, who the fuck is this child called arrogant? Ethan, I love you, but there's, but there's only so much I can how do. How can you be surprised when your Discord is literally full of fucking... Ethan, I love you, but there's only so much I can do if you're making that argument. You know that, right? Like, at a certain point, you're an adult, and the words that you're saying are going to be perceived by people in a certain way. I can't constantly tell my community to shut the fuck up, like which I have, and I think they should. But at the end of the day, it's because I know you personally, and I think your heart is in the right place. But they don't know. So it's hard. It's hard for people to view what you're saying beyond your words. I'm perspective. You disagree. That's it. I mean, what the fuck do you want from me? Okay. But, do you, but do, you get, do you get where I'm coming from? Like, that's why I I'm trying I to... I understand your analysis, dude. Okay. I, I understand trying, your analysis. I don't want to... I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want my community to hurt your feelings. I don't want your feelings to be hurt. You're not hurting I think oh, I feel like this is where... It's because he's like... The, when he says it, like... Oh, I can't help it when you're saying things that are said by racists. It's like it's his fault, you know? It's not that chat are being fucking crazy. It's not like, well, yeah, they're chat. They're fucking assholes. He's like, he's excusing the way that they're taking him. I don't, again, I don't think Ethan's making like the very good argument for this whole conversation about this topic, but it's, he's not, <laughs> there's no reason to call him racist for it. <laughs> there's nothing that's like, he is about 400 miles away from that threshold. They're fucking, I think, they're monsters. They're like psychotic. I think, no, and, I think, I think you're a good not person. Not all of them, but there are a lot of them and you okay. don't seem to care about moderating that's it at all. That's not true. Whereas if you go to, if you're, when you're on my show, we really do care about what people say about you on yeah. Discord and chat and we moderate it to keep like a good environment, but you don't seem to fucking care about There's it. There's no way I can mm -hmm. shut off my moderator? chat. I mean, I can put it in emote mode, but that's it. You know, Just like moderator? you shut off your chat. Just like you, know, you shut off your chat when these sorts of conversations happen in an effort to stop bad faith piece of shit. We can put it in emote mode, which is what I'm doing now, but ultimately. But ultimately, you have to realize, like, when there's 33,000 people, and it's not even YouTube, it's literally fucking Twitch, so it's even faster, it's almost impossible to moderate, because people are going to perceive what you're saying in a certain way. This is not, like, there's only... Well, no, I mean, if people know they're going to get banned for something, they'll get... people. Other people will stop doing it. That's You set an example with a few people. Uh, it's not difficult to... Okay. I feel like with enough mods in there, like, eager people... Yeah, one of the mods is Frogan. So she's actually one of the ones calling him a racist Zionist who hates Arabs and shit. Yeah, fuck so much moderation i can do if you make that comparison do you have moderators in your chat i don't understand i can make any fucking comparison dude yeah, why i'm literally he, just explaining why how does he have mods if, if he can't moderate his chat people feel about it that's all okay. i'm fucking doing man and you continue to put words in my mouth oh, making it seem like i'm comparing them to fucking oh, no, right. jewish nazis and shit hold on hold on it's so fucked up it's not fair when you say that shit then people in your chat are obviously going to co-sign it and they're going to fucking you know think that as i quoted a zionist fucking freak pig i mean you know i don't know for the record
I understand the analysis, right? No, that it's not so anti-Israel or anti-Semitic. I understand. Concede, and and uh, I agree uh, with his analysis, actually. I do. I'm explaining why Jewish people around the world find it offensive. And I can tell you guys, most Jews do find it offensive because of the way they interpret it, which is the destruction of Israel. That's how they interpret it, whether it's meant that way or not. And I think that it's... I love the fucking, the fucking 400 IQ. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I explain it to him in a way that a normie liberal would understand, for example, the Nazi. <laughs> Ethan, it's similar to the Nazis being mad at Jews for having a freedom slogan. <laughs> My God. The oppressors have no say in the morality. I just think Hassan doesn't like you, given the perspective, because it feels like you are over-talking the Palestinians. It's worth, you know, acknowledging that that's how people feel about it. Um, you know, keep using it. By sorry, fucking, I was, I was, uh, I was gone. I'm, I'm I had talking to, to the audience. Can you hear me? Because, uh, I'm just, I'm telling the audience because I don't think I can. You, you know why? But I, 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 I'm, I'm, just... I'm just explaining to the audience that I'm, I'm simply explaining why people interpret it to be anti-Semitic or anti-Israel because of the insinuation that it is from the river to sea, they interpret it as it being a call for the destruction of Israel. If you, now you can use that phrase, and I agree with your analysis, Hassan, that it's, it, you know what I mean, again. that people can use that phrase. It's okay, you know what I mean? I'm just explaining the perspective. If you cared to, you know, respond to it or not, no, or, I get the if perspective. you keep using the phrase, that's fine. You know what I mean? I'm I just get the explaining that this, that I don't, I just, I don't like that people act like it's so fucking shocking that, you know, when, when Jewish people see that and interpret it one way. It's not fair to, okay. to make them seem like crazy Zionists if, if you see, are interpreting if, it that way. If you see my explanation of this, and if you hear Palestinians explain this uh, term and the slogan and what it means to them and the history of the slogan, right? And, and instead of going, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. Actually, maybe I'm in the wrong here. I would rather listen to those who are anti-Zionist Palestinians and also uh, uh, American Jews and, and Western Jews who are anti-Zionist alike. If they, all are in, uh, if they all have this kind of perspective overall, then, then if you are also on the side of the emancipation of Palestinians, don't you think that the better thing to do here would be to uh, educate people to ensure that there's not any further um, like misunderstandings on the front? Because that's the reason why I uh, make this uh, statement. That's the reason why I try to uh, educate people when there's a sea of, of counterfactuals and counter narratives that, that simply claim unconditionally that this is like anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic people yeah, can I use disagree. this. I do agree. I disagree that it's unconditionally anti-Semitic. But do you understand why some people might find that a, like a scary phrase to hear? Around yes, the world, I, I around do. the world. But okay, people also, but people also think I know, but you people also think for Palestine is a scary phrase. Bro, you okay? So, so you acknowledge that Jews around the world? I don't know. I can't get behind that. I definitely can't get behind people feeling scared of hearing "free Palestine." I guess if you're Jewish and they're like hate crimes are up and it's connected to the Palestine thing, maybe because again, it's you can't compare it to Nazis and Jews because we know Jews around the world are getting attacked by people who are chanting free Palestine and river to the sea. Like we know that's what's happening. <laughs> We've seen, yeah, that, that's it's not a coincidence that there's rising hate crimes, what, like 1300%. Same with the Islamophobia stuff. Um, if there was some pro-Israeli slogan and you were like a Muslim walking down the street, you'd be worried about those people, like those fucking glass Gaza dipshits going around and like what's being graffitied in Jewish quarters. Like, yeah, well, people are having like Stars of David. I think that, apparently the people putting the Stars of David on people's houses in France, wasn't that like Russian operatives doing that? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's scary. It's really scary. Um, I don't know. Free Palestine is the most neutral stance. Yeah, but if you know that a lot of these pro-Palestine protesters are doing like just anti-Semitic shit, or not a lot, but enough of them to, you know, notice. Yeah, I don't know. It's a small fraction. But you say small fraction, again, like, um, Jews are a small fraction of most populations in the world, so you only need, you only need a small fraction. You can understand why they would see that and can think of it as, as a scary phrase to them. It would make them uncomfortable. Yes, just like, just That's like it. Black Lives Matter can be an uncomfortable phrase for people, but it doesn't change my mentality around the phrase no, if someone asks me. Okay, whatever, bro. I don't know. What do you whatever. That's not whatever. That's very important. Like, that's the thing is like when there were a bunch of when there were worldwide Black Lives Matter protests, I don't think I could be wrong. I don't think there were white people having their houses attacked or if there were like pe black people running through airports looking for white people in the fucking uh, to beat the shit out of. Right. I don't think that was happening. I don't think they were like. I don't even know. Putting a white person sign on the doors on the front on the front doors of white people or white people getting their doors Molotov cocktailed and shit. Defund the police would be a right analogy. Yeah, but even that like who is who's being threatened by defund the police um, crowds. Cops. Talking in circles. We've already talked about this shit. I know, but but it's important because I don't want you to think that, like 
I don't want you to think that I'm like cynically or in a weird way, just like being like, no, so. anti-Semitism is like totally fine, actually, with this one so, phrase. But what I, I, I don't, I just, you won't make any fucking concessions. And it's crazy. Like, like I make so many Ooh. fucking concessions to you all the time from my heart. And I listen and I fucking try to move towards your side every time we talk. And I do. But when I fucking try to tell, explain to you, and you even sit here and you understand that, you know, why just Jewish people around the world might find that phrase uh, scary to them, you, you're fu you won't fucking even admit. Well, now you did that I asked you, but you, you think it's fucking silly. You don't want to hear anything I have to say, and you don't want to concede a single fucking I feel like that would have been a better argument. The, uh, the hate crimes would be a, a good one, because I know it's the case in general that, like, Jewish people who support Palestinians uh, in the fucking outside of Israel are a little bit sketchy about going to these movements because they know there's a chance someone is going to, like, grill them uh on on their like, allegiance and shit like that because I, like i've seen that happen once that was a long time ago but I've, I've heard stories about that like all the time and also with the hate crime stuff um yeah you can make that that's a good argument that you can make um does it mean uh people who are pro-palestine should stop saying it i don't know like uh probably not but it's maybe a good call to be aware that this effect is being had and movements can maybe like get better at fucking policing each other and shit i don't know i think that um and, and it's not that fun to talk to you about it when, when it's that when it's like that okay i think the the reason why it comes across as one-sided even though it's not it's not one-sided either well, is because we're broadly in agreement but i agree but but the 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 potential fears that this might invoke uh in people who are otherwise misguided and propagandized against this phrase by those who have a cynical reason to tie this to judaism in general is the reason why I try to educate people on the matter. Is the reason why when you and I are in disagreement, I want to explain it to you in all sincerity. I do not discount the fact that Jewish people might hear this. Otherwise, uh, good faith uh, and even, I guess, anti-Zionist or, or maybe critical, Jewish people who are critical of Israel, let's say, might hear this and think, oh, this, this seems anti-Semitic to me because I've been told it's anti-Semitic. But, uh, but I think making a concession on this and saying, you know what, you're right. Uh, some people are afraid of the slogan, so that must mean it's anti-Semitic is incorrect when it's, no, when it's not reflective of its history. I'm at least understand why a large amount of Jews think that that slogan is offensive to them. I know, but just like with the one state that's it. conversation, like I'm just happened. asking, I'm just trying to like connect a fucking bridge at all between I, understanding. I understand it. You can use you can use that phrase. I'm not even disagreeing. But like I, if, I understand it the same way that uh, Nazis get scared when a Jewish person says, "Please stop holocausting me." <laughs> that's what that's the silent part that he's saying there. Oh God! If we're trying to actually like make bridges and fucking understand each other, uh, you can't. You not being able to even concede why Jews around the world could interpret that way seems, you know, like anti it's not productive at all like you you don't want to you don't want to fucking see it from anyone's perspective but I, but I but i do understand it which is why i try to work against this counter narrative this counterfactual that's that's what i'm saying i try oh. to use the privilege that i have the platform that i have to deliver a voice or yeah, that was a vosh response like I understand. a group of I people a group of people that are never on, that are never really heard at I all i think peace and progress happens when we connect and have empathy for each other that's it i'm explaining yeah. to you why jews around the world might find that offensive and um, there's, the question, there's, there, and that's it. I think that it would be good to try to understand that. But the question um, I have is this: I don't care to keep talking about it because we just keep talking in circles. Okay, well, here I'll I'll, I'll tackle it from a different angle. Um, <sighs> all right, ugh, I don't. I gotta go soon anyway. My throat is fucking killing me. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we couldn't uh, make peace on this one issue. Um, Do you feel bad for Ethan? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't know the guy, but. It goes to show you, though, what like a uh, insufficient community policing does to a motherfucker. I definitely don't want that. I, and, and yeah, and it's I just, hope that you know, like, it's just I just find it really fucked up how people are going to interpret this now. And 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 I think based on some of your analysis, as me like comparing fucking Palestinian activists to a uh, to like uh, Jewish Nazis or something, um, you know, and, and, and like I'm not even fucking saying don't use the phrase. I'm simply trying to explain the perspective. And like you don't want, if you don't want to hear the perspective, if you don't want to empathize at all with people that find it offensive, then then um, the converse, the con conversing is kind of pointless. I don't like. I, I feel like I I'm just explaining it, man. And you know I'm not a fucking radical Jew. I'm not even a religious Jew. No, I have I, no I, know. Fucking, I have no stake in the game. And this is coming from I I know I know. Um. All right. Oh. Did he just leave abruptly? No, just, I don't know why I get so oh. emotional lately. Oh shit! You all right? We don't have to. We don't have to continue if you don't want to. You don't feel like it. Oh. Anyway, I think I think this is the reason why I originally wanted to 
potentially feature uh, Jewish voices in this conversation uh, because I feel like that would be, I, I feel as though that would be more productive, uh, even Israeli voices as a matter of fact. And, and we can still do that at a later date if you'd like. I just, you know, I'm not like a fucking great, I'm not a sensitive Jew. I never scream anti-Semitism about anything. No, I so know. like, you can't, I don't even think it's fair to characterize me. Like, I'm just telling you how people see it. I, 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 mean, that's I, all Ethan, I know. I never you said that. You disagree clearly. That's it. And that's fine. I, I don't, Ethan, I don't, I've never said any of those Fuck things yeah. against you. And I, and I don't believe that. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. I'm simply trying to describe the position of Palestinians in this matter on this front. And, You've and done that. And I understand, bro. I understand. I understand. I've listened to you. I, and I agree. That's it. Okay. Um, as far as, uh, I think this is like the whole, the ideologue thing coming out now, you know? God, I actually kind of almost out of curiosity, I just wanted to see what chat was saying at this point. What if they could type? He, he's very committed to the cause, Hassad. <laughs> God. As far as, as, far as being a, a conciliatory on this front goes, I think that's, that's the reason why it'd be better served to, to have this conversation, not with myself, but with, uh, with an anti-Zionist uh, Jewish person. Why does it matter if they're Jewish? Because I'm not Jewish, and you've said in this conversation that, like, how can you tell me how to feel about the situation? Yeah, but how is one person of, uh, representative of, of Jews at large? I think that they'll, they'll be a, they, can, they can talk about it from a more uh, united perspective and, and give, you more, uh, give you additional uh, feedback and additional information. Here, I'm just going to this not. person said, okay, we don't give a fuck if they interpret it like that because they're fucking brain dead genocidal freaks. It's like understanding a fucking Nazi's perspective that emancipation for minorities is a threat to their existence. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, so. this is, and for the record, <laughs> that is the perspective of someone who is not speaking about Jewish people. He's talking about Zionists. This is the difference. And oh, the, yeah, the yeah, number yeah, of Christian way, Zionists that's... far outnumber the number of Jewish Zionists. How, how are the mod, by the way, how do you honestly expect the mods to keep the discourse like in any way like civil? That was a comment left by your mod. Which one said that? I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, why'd you bring it up? No, I'm not trying to snitch. Okay. But ultimately, was... you have to understand that the reason why <laughs> the reason why people feel this way is because it. It, it, this is not like a like this community. These very same moderators, this entire moderation team, has been tackling anti-Semitism for oh, you know four or five years at this point. Like, they're not, they're not anti-Semitic. So, they're not saying Rogan, this because another like, mod says Ethan is so bad faith. What have I been bad faith about? Like I genuinely don't understand that. The way that what? people perceive your com do you think people across the board are geared towards hating you here in this community, in my community in general? Do you think that I I don't uh, yell at them regularly and try to tell them not to? Uh, not to have these kinds of perspectives. I, 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 the reason why people feel the way that they do oh, is because after a certain point... What, it, what it, have it, I said is bad faith? I think you want me to be totally honest? Ooh. Yeah. No kitty gloves. Okay. Fuck you, I bro. Think, no. That insinuation is so stupid, man. No, I, no please don't get mad at me. I'm <laughs> Am gonna be, I fucking I'm gonna be moron? You just talk down to me the whole time? No, absolutely not. I think you're a very smart person, but you do get a little <laughs> I, emotional I on this issue. Gloves that's on. Tell me. Okay. I think that what you said about the, from the river to the sea being akin to a Nazi slogan or the fact that like uh, it it's, a, it's a Confederate it. flag. It Those comparisons, because I know you personally and because I know you're an empathetic person because I don't think you're a, a bad faith person at all, but anyone else that says something like that, it's going to come across, especially from the people that don't know who you are and what you represent, it's going to come across like you are making a bad faith argument that- ben A while after this segment, he brought you up. That's me. This as well, for example, uh, Loner Box. You might not yeah. like him. You might think he's a Zionist. I don't think he is. Hey. Um, I do think that he Ooh. triangulates his messaging to be like extremely as like palatable as possible to liberals. But mm. I would not say that he's not well read. Hey. He is definitely well read on this matter. Ooh. You might get more mad at him because he is very well read on the matter. Hey. But as far as I've seen, everything I've seen of him on this subject is actually pretty. Um, it's actually pretty. He isn't hiding his power level. He is a liberal. I think he, uh, you know, he's he's yeah. definitely a, a on the uh, on the yeah. liberal side of things for sure. But yeah. but I'm not gonna sit I'm here and be like guys, he's yeah. just regurgitating Wikipedia talk, uh, Wikipedia talking points with no uh, serious thought behind it. Hey, reading a wiki article is not well read. No, I think he's well informed. I think he's he goes way beyond uh, Wikipedia talking points. You will not arrive at his like actual accurate opinion from watching this video because it's trying to be as neutral as possible, and especially when you're using. Like Jerusalem Post or or uh, you know Wikipedia exclusively. Yeah. Uh, Loner Box is who I'm talking about. This as well. Yeah. <laughs> Part two. Reading a wiki article is not well read. No, I think he's well informed. I think <laughs> he's he goes Wikipedia. way beyond uh, Wikipedia talking points. Uh, Loner Box is who I'm talking about. Not uh, not Cavernickel. Cavernickel. No, guys. There are <laughs> there are certainly uh -oh. there are certainly points of information that he brings up in his videos that 
uh, definitely correspond to someone who has at least done beyond the the basic uh, research. Um, 100%. Oh. Um, I, uh, this, on the other hand, is not. Takes a... <laughs> Takes a great deal more courage to stand up to your friends. Let's go back to getting uh, uh, freaked out by Hassan in this conversation. All right. And Shapiro would make, or any number of other conservatives would make in this circumstance. Of course people feel this way because they don't see your reconciliation process. They don't see that like you go back on information and you internalize it and you think about it and you come out with an honest perspective. Whoa. They only see clips of you. They will see clips of you making that comparison. And, and they'll, they'll... Bad faith. You're saying people take it out of context. That's not the same thing as being bad faith. Now cry. Well, I don't yeah. think it's, it's being taken out of context because you're saying this in defense of uh, bastardizing uh, the, the... That entire Cavernacle video was just him talking about how fucking smart he is and then just saying like headlines or right. the Palestinians or minimizing the voice of Palestinians, Muslims oh, and, and anti-Zionist Jews, anti-Zionist Jews and, and the rest of the anti-Zionist movement by, by trying to, uh, trying to say, no, this is what it actually means. This is how it's being perceived by the other side. What it actually is perceived by the other side, the broader Zionist movement as a whole does not change the reality of what this, what this message means. It, it simply is used as another reason to silence any kind of emancipatory slogan and any kind of opposition. People feel like they can't say anything. People feel like they can't, um, people can't uh, say, you people can't push for a ceasefire. The government's not listening to them. They can't even say free Palestine from the river to the sea because like then, uh, you know, this is, this is technically considered anti-Semitic. Like what, what should happen? Should, is there, is there a boundary and a guideline that maybe I'm like not, uh, the ADL can put forward that people can write? I am not advocating for any speech. From, so I'm just giving you my perspective. I'm okay. not saying don't say any of that shit. I'm just telling you how Jewish people around the world interpret that phrase. That's it. I think if, you were, it. To ask, if you were to ask anti-Zionist Jews how they interpret the slogan versus, I'm talking Zionist, about, versus Zionist Jews, the difference would be stark. You're saying because of this group doesn't find it offensive that the other... I, I'm not saying they're right. You're because saying this group of people finds it offensive, therefore they're wrong? I mean, I'm just telling you how they feel. I mean, it's just feeling. Because, so. because it is an anti-Zionist slogan. That's why I think uh, it, like listening to anti-Zionists in this time is more important. And again, this is the way people hear it. At a certain point, also, what you're saying, genociding all the Jews there does become anti-Semitic. And I'm not saying that's what anybody there wants to do. Of course, genociding all the Jews is anti-Semitic. That's, that's, how, the, yeah. that's how people perceive it, especially people in Israel. No, but people also perceive free Palestine to be the same. You yourself I don't. that people in... Okay, you don't. But I don't, I don't think it's the same. I, people don't perceive it. You, you literally it. said a, a one-state solution is untenable regardless of the morality of it, because people in Israel oh. consider that to be akin to a possible genocide. You openly stated that that, that that paranoia is not a justifiable one, and yet people still feel it in their hearts. You cannot set the boundaries on an emancipatory movement by the unreasonable fears that people have about that slogan, because or any slogan whatsoever, because ultimately it turns into, unless unless it's like directly violent and it's an incitement. When people violence. say that one state solution would lead to a genocide, I'm trying to imagine, would it just is it just because all the checkpoints and the border stuff would be gone, and then... What, like Palestinians could just get uh, in trucks and just drive through Tel Aviv and shoot people? <laughs> or, like, or do they expect it to be like they would use voting rights to undermine Jewish, people, uh, Jewish people's rights? Or that, they would, or that they would allow people from fucking the rest of the Middle East to come in more easily? Because I'm trying to imagine exactly how it would work. I feel like you'd have to disarm a lot of wankers before the checkpoints and everything came down and the redeployments happened. But couldn't you just have a constitution that protects the rights of both groups? Because it's going to be a 50-50 split-ish. I don't know why you couldn't just have like a, a constitutional system that makes it basically impossible for one group to override the human rights of the other, because that requires liberalism. Yeah, but again, if any one state's getting agreed upon, they're going to have to develop a constitution that keeps everyone safe. No fucking way is Israel going to support that unless they don't have that guarantee. Uh, fear of physical violence? Like what? There's going to be more fighting in the streets or more murders? Or uh, Do Palestinians want Sharia? I saw a Pew Research poll that said something like, it said 60% of Palestinians think they should kill apostates. Um, I know the surrounding countries are quite high for that, like Jordan and fucking Egypt has really high numbers for that, but I have no idea if they want that as to, to be their law. Or is it their law now? I don't think it is. Lebanon does allocate like power to specific ethnic groups, yeah, but it's a horrible system. It's like the government doesn't even function half the time. Violence, in which case, of course, unacceptable. Because at a certain point, this becomes an optics conversation that is used as a cudgel to like just fucking forcibly squash any kind of opposition, and that's already happening. In America, it's not happening. We still have some semblance of free speech, but in Europe, in, in different parts of the world, people are literally fucking getting apprehended. They're getting detained for saying from the river to the sea. So, so in that's my a opinion, problem. having this back and forth in, in good faith and, and having a conversation about it is fine, but that doesn't even change the reality or even uh, uh, break through the dam 
of, of the sea of people that are demanding a ceasefire, that want to stop the occupation, that want to end the apartheid, that uh, has currently, in this iteration, in this last iteration, in the siege, has killed almost 11,000 people with 4,000 children. Bro, don't and bring I know that up. You, that's and I know you don't agree with that. I know you don't agree with that. I know. I, I'm not saying you do at all. There's a failed system because of that, that split. And that's precisely what right, I'm listen, saying. Just listen, listen to the Palestinians think so. in, this, in this run. Don't call okay, me on that, but I think Palestine. that's the case. Yeah. And anti-Zionist Jews. And anti-Zionist Jews. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to I don't want to fight. I think this is like I mean it sucks. And I'm I'm sorry that I, I made you feel a certain way. <sighs> I'm sorry that my community no, made you feel a certain like, way. No, it's fucked up. I don't want you to I think you're a good person. Just understand that people don't know uh the empathy that you have and they simply see you know similar talking points that they've heard from other others that don't demonstrate that same empathy that you it's do. not he's doing it again he's just explaining exactly why jews feel uncomfortable about rivers of the sea because they don't know who's saying it they don't know the intentions and they've heard people who want them dead saying it and that's why they associate it he's just giving he's just giving ethan the argument like he so he understands the logic yeah i don't know but again he does think that if Ethan had just come in in a vacuum, then it would be justified to assume that he was racist based on what he was saying. I don't know. It's really... Because I guess Hassan, like... I guess he is. They are generally... Like, that community and him are generally that sensitive to calling something racist, even though, like, there's nothing that... Because what he should be saying, what I think Hassan should be saying is that... Like, people are being fucking incredibly... Uh, paranoid and like hyper vigilant and overly sensitive that they're calling what Ethan's saying racist. Nothing what he's saying is racist. That's what he should be saying, but I think, I can, yeah. But not just like, I know you, but they don't know you. That's because that's kind of justifying it. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's my drama analysis. What can I say? When you're delivering their perspective here. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to have a conversation about it. I'm just trying to be honest and open and like, you know. I agree. I, I respect it, which is why I wanted to have this conversation to begin with. I hope you don't think that I'm like, uh, you know, harboring resentment or, or trying to get my fucking community to hate you. I'm working in the exact opposite direction. Well, you I don't you think your moms have a very best call. interest in uh, aligning their goals with yours. I'll talk to them about it as well. But ultimately, there's a reason, and that is because they've heard this this sentiment expressed by others and they don't know you here's another mod oh, God, says, stop you saying that. Well, Ethan. If, if Ethan there's catches that if Ethan catches that feelings. Hassan's whole argument falls apart yeah I'm not taking it back says Fish uh, uh, Frogan said uh, I forget what she said that I'm a Zionist or something like that um, <laughs> the talking points that, you've, demonstrated, the talking that you've demonstrated come across like you are in defense of, of Israel and they are identical to the talking points that <sighs> those who support Israel put forward did I defend Israel but I know you're not I know when, I, no when you said it can be when no I you're, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying I know you're not. I know you personally. I know what you represent. I know the values that you represent. I know that you're empathetic. The talking points that you bring forward, however, are what identical to the same talking points that I literally spent the entire day dissecting. Oh, that's, that's the difference. That's why people see that and they automatically, uh, automatically ascribe bad faith, uh, uh, you know, bad faith to what you're saying. Like what though? What's a talking point that Ben? You'd hear Ben Shapiro say. Hassan, he's being a baby about a couple about people criticizing him, uh, about people criticizing him, as if he didn't call me every name in the fucking book, including racist dog whistles. But he can go off. I mean, she supported uh, she supported the Hamas attack. She said it was a revolution and implied that it was a good thing. <laughs> Unless she's an anti-revolutionary leftist, um, that could be the case. Oh, uh, where do I begin? <laughs> Um, I think that the, the from the river to the sea conversation, every single thing that you brought up, I've heard from, uh, I mean, if I pulled up a Benjamin video right now, I'd probably say identical things. Right. And on that one, on, I'm just saying, as a member of the Jewish community at large, and myself being a moderate, fucking secular, non-religious, unsensitive to, or not like desensitized to anti-Semitism from being on the internet so long, like, I'm just giving you the perspective. You disagree with it, and that's fine. But you can't argue about how people feel. You know, it's an no, emotional, I know. that's an emotional thing. I know, I, I, and I'm not even trying to argue about how people feel. I'm saying I, I'm not trying to argue about how people feel. I'm trying to explain what the what the historical uh, what the historical background of that sentiment is and how it's being often talked about. What, what else other than that? Ben what else other than Jibiro. that? It's mostly. That. I, I know Ben Shapiro says that. Listen, I'm just telling you the perspective. What else did I say that would um? I think uh, I don't know. I haven't I haven't watched a lot. Like, of how do you get into this path the way the way then? Does that just mean everything? Every single statement Ben Shapiro makes is automatically wrong? Like um, eh. Your, uh, a, a lot of your, your takes. Like, I, I genuinely don't know.
You said today, that today, today that is the river to the sea thing uh, for okay. sure. That's it. Do you mean uh, it sound like today that, in the conversation like, I was echoing all kinds of talking points that suggest that I'm defending Israel? Wait, and I, I don't remember. I didn't say that. that. I'm talking specifically about river to the sea thing. But as far as like um as far as like a two state solution goes, I think you're uh, or a one state solution goes. Like even having that conversation alone implies that you're not a Zionist. So I don't know why. Uh, I literally conceded to you that the one state may, might make no, more sense. I know, sense. Ethan. I know. No, I'm I'm, I'm telling you that I don't I don't feel that way anyway. I don't. I'm not coming from it from that perspective at all. All right. I got. I do have to go. I mean, I don't know what was. I don't know if this was productive or anything really at all. My sense of this is that I'm going to probably deeply regret having this conversation, but uh, that's what it is. Ethan, I love you. I wanted to talk to you beforehand um, so we can just like have a more productive outline um, for it, for a conversation like this. I'm not, I mean, this I'm not sure what I wanted to talk about. What? No, this is what I wanted to talk about. No, I know. I just, <laughs> like, I, like, look, as, as a final statement on this, for everyone that's watching, Ethan is not a bad person. He's not a Zionist. He's just not educated. Um, he is delivering the perspective <laughs> of, of a person that has lived in Israel. Sorry. Yelling at Ethan is not going to be productive in this situation or appropriate in this situation. Don't, and don't you more, think it's like, if you're, if you're trying to reconcile between two different groups of people, don't you, even if one group is wrong, let's say, do you think it's at least even a little important to try to understand their perspective? 100%. No, okay. I, I do. I, so I, talk about, I talk, about the, really talking abroad, I talk about the importance of building a broad movement all the time. And in order to engage in coalition building, you have to be conciliatory, you have to be understanding, you have to be empathetic, lead by empathy. Like if, the, if you want to call me Israel defending, that's, I'm like the most milk toast fucking pro-Israel defender you can possibly find. So like, you've got to learn, you, people need to learn to build a fucking bridge somewhere. I, I'm like, not saying that. I hope you understand. I, don't I know. There are yeah, about you're not... 500 people in this chat. Like, uh, I'm the most milk toast. Well, imagine if someone said, uh, I'm the most milk toast Nazi soldier. Uh, <laughs> you can find, I only, I only support Nazis. In a, <laughs> that's what they're thinking. Oh God. So this it's the whole caricaturing. It's like taking a thing that's bad, like, like Israel, and then just caricaturing it to the point that it's like, yeah. And so it fucks your perspective. Yeah. I'm saying it, but I do think that a large part of your community thinks that. It's clearly reflected by, by all the shit that the mods continue to say. And so... I think it stems from... I, think I, just, got air, I just got a fucking Air Force ad. Yeah, I just ran an ad. Um, right. I forgot to run it at the top of the hour. All right, listen. Um, let me just clarify. Israel's wrong. The settlements should be removed. Netanyahu's a war criminal. I fucking hate him and his whole cabinet. They're genocidal. Absolute psychopaths. Fucking despise them. I think the Palestinian people... I think the blockade... Needs to yeah. be lifted. <laughs> you just want another supreme leader of the third Reich. Bombing Gaza. <laughs> I think that um, a more that liberal whatever, one. This indiscriminate bombing of Gaza is fucking horrific and horrible, and absolutely destroys Israel's position. I I, I don't know what more I can do to uh, to 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 try to empathize um, as as someone who's who's in Israel. The only thing you can do is be exactly like them. That's what you can do. Yeah. I don't know, and so that those are my positions. If I try to explain a perspective of, of a Jewish or Israeli person, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not defending it. I'm only saying it because I think it's important for people to understand the perspectives of, of those on the other side of them so that you can connect with them better. What's, that's, that's it. That's my goal. And, what, is, um, what, is your, what could um, the pro-Palestinian side do better? I think that's a good question to ask you. Like, as far as, as, far well, as its own advocacy, I don't mean this like cynically. I'm, I'll, I'm answer, like, I'll answer it. I don't, again, I, I hate to speak so broadly about the whole movement, but in general, I've seen... And what I'm seeing now is just like a really vitriol, uh, like there's zero empathy or tolerance or, or uh, desire to hear the perspective that I'm doing. And so much so, there, there's not only a lack of empathy, there's a downright um, an outright uh, hatred for it. I mean, they, I feel like a lot of people can't differentiate between like real Zionist, propagandist, psychotic fucking freaks. And then someone like me, who's a, you know, secular, modern fucking unreligious uh, and concerned Jewish person, Israeli, that's concerned about what's happening to the Palestinian people. And so I don't, I think that people, uh, again, I can't speak to the whole movement at broad, but I can talk about what I'm seeing in your community with your mods and such, is that there's such a quick, um, it's so quick to condemnation, it's so quick to interpret the worst faith possible. There's no charitability. And I understand because tensions are high, people are ups rightfully upset about what's happening. I mean, that's to put it mildly, right? As you said, I mean, 10,000 people died, 6,000 of them are kids, or maybe even more, 8,000, I don't know. But there has to be, if there's not even tolerance for someone with my perspective, then I genuinely don't think that there's ever going to be a chance of anyone reconciling this in a meaningful way. I just, I just I think, think it's counterproductive to look at me like uh, the fucking villain and to call me a Zionist and to interpret what I'm saying as someone who, who's no different than, you know, run-of-the-mill uh, militant. He's having the loner box arc. He's doing it. He's going all the way through. And now you realize that... <laughs> fucking fundamentalist uh, settler or uh, fanatic in Israel. I agree. I think that... Um, I, I think that people are too quick to jump to conclusions, especially because of the prevalence of certain talking points that they hear that they immediately go, oh, he, it seems like he's defending Israel. In the same way that people look at me and say, 
Oh, you're, you are you do not care. You love Hamas. Like, you must love Hamas. It's very obvious that you love Hamas over and over again, um, despite the, the endless condemnations that I yeah, deliver. I feel that. And in talk my... about the, the brutality of it. It's just people are very black and white on the internet, and they want to put you in a, a <clears throat> neatly defined box that says you believe this, and I think that you believe this, and you're sneakily and cynically and uh, you know talking against this other position. Um, I will not listen to what you have to say. I simply am going to uh, perceive you a certain way and go along with it. I obviously disagree with that. That's why I try to uh, break through that on a regular basis. I try to instill charitability in my audience as well when talking to people. And um, that's I do uh, think though, in general, like I, I agree with what you're saying about yourself. I know that all that about you, but I do think like on the whole that your community is extremely hostile towards me. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how, what's no, the percentage. Not, not I mean, how, how could I, I, how could I no, there's, there's plenty of fans But I feel like they're, they're overly... There are uh, plenty of fans of yours in this community. I think that yeah, they're... Yeah, no, I don't know what's the percentage, but like, it's very, I don't know. I feel like very unwelcomed. And maybe it's going back to the fucking Discord that I know you, you don't log in there, but like, it's just... Um, no, not only, not only do I uh, uh, don't regularly go in there, I've literally moderated it, but also on top of that, I've told the mods to like... Um, I've told the mods to, to, uh, to deal with it. The thing is, now that you've said like... Uh, Oh, I don't know. I just like uh, everyone is going to going forward from this point on, um, there are going to be people that like regularly uh, will take clips that you've uh, you've had on this broadcast and use it against you and say that you have a certain position and continue fucking bullying you, which I disavow and I disagree with. And I think it's fucking bullshit. And I've said it time and time again, you know this. And then also on the other side, people are going to be eating good and being like, see, Hassan and his community fucking despise Ethan. Like when you said that about discord, uh, when you said that about discord, uh, my, my discord in my community. Everybody went along with it. The worst pieces of shit that you and I both fucking despise, like all those fucking little uh, little weirdos on Twitter, like the likes of Ian Miles wrong and shit, you know, quartering. Like they all fucking yeah, Ian Miles like, wrong. Hassan's community are fucking anti-Semitic, and they all fucking hate Ethan, and they're all woke and they hate. There are people see, like going fucking mental, like thir thirst posting in my Discord. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking stop. Them. I don't know if I should stop them or like put them somewhere else. God damn it, Ethan. And I, I I hate that shit. I despise it. Like they. Whenever you and I have a back and forth like this, they eat so good, and I despise it. Like they're probably going to use this as well, constantly fucking driving it's a, a quarantine and constantly them. moving away from like having a chair <clears throat> conversation, having, I know, I know. having an I important that, back and forth. I do feel, and people say, "Oh, you're wrong." Well, that's why I do feel like if I was to take a snippet from our Discord, it would be so positive and so nice and so supportive of you, even when they disagree. Whereas if I look at your community's responses, some of the stuff I'm saying, they're super fucking, and maybe maybe they're justified because of what's happening in Gaza right now. But it's just so negative and so hateful and so nasty and so uncharitable and so mean spirited that um, that that it it just makes me feel unwelcome and it makes me feel like sometimes that this what we are doing here is kind of pointless. But I, I admire everything that you do and I support everything that you do. And um, it's also it, I, don't, it's, I, don't I, think it's, I think it's also because it's a it's a political it's a political community which is fucking cancerous and awful in general, especially like this morning. I talked about walking my dog. I was 10 minutes into the broadcast. And the first thing I saw in the fucking chat was, oh, so no more BDS against Starbucks, I guess? Because I said I got a puppuccino for my dog. I never said I went to Starbucks. I never said anything. For the past fucking four... For it's BDSing Starbucks. <laughs> uh Almost five weeks now, I have continuously talked about what is going on in Gaza. And yet there were still people who are mentally ill and fucking bad faith who were like, oh, I guess you went to Starbucks and purchased all the Starbucks you possibly could. And that must mean you hate the BDS movement. That must mean you hate Palestinians in general. So this shit happens to me all the fucking time, too. It's part and parcel of like being, unfortunately, in the political realm, especially when it's like an environment that is ultimately very emotional. That people, uh, you know, people do the two awful worst things you could do. It's we're marrying parasocial attitudes that are already unhealthy with uh, political perspectives that people get like incredibly polarized on and incredibly impassionate about. So obviously, obviously, no matter what happens, like if you look at this kind of stuff and it let you let you uh, let the kind of stuff sway your opinion, it's going to destroy you mentally. It's just something that I mean, listen, sucks. I've been, like, I, I've I've been, been the internet so fucking long, dude. I'm impervious for the most part. I would thought into this shit, you know. But this stuff that's happening here, really, you know, I, I know what it, I me. know what it is. It's it's getting yelled at by those you uh, perceive as your allies. Happens to me all the fucking time too. You recall this happened during the, the you bought a house saga Loader when you and I box. had this conversation. You smarmy, okay. you mm -hmm. fuck bastard. What? I can hear you. I was going to say the word. From you said, can you hear me? It's weird. I guess no, no, it's no, old. that's old. Also, uh, don't show your phone on your camera. Yeah. Um, anyway, no, remember? Not, I do, remember I, I do have to go. When I, when I, I bought a house, go. last thing I want to say. Remember yeah. when we, remember when I bought a house and everybody <laughs> fucking lost their minds? When I bought a car and everybody lost their fucking minds? The people yeah. that were yelling at me in that situation were not right-wingers. I mean, sure, there were right-wingers that were yelling at me and taking advantage of the situation, too. It was mostly fucking people with hammer and sickles in their fucking bios on Twitter. That didn't change my perspective, and it didn't change my uh, opinion on the world, and it didn't change my analysis one bit. Because ultimately, you have to remember, like, a lot of that comes from a place of anger, resentment, frustration in their own personal lives. You just have to keep learning and keep going on this journey, be as charitable as you possibly can to others, and, and lead by empathy. 
there are going to be people who you perceive as allies who will yell at you and it's going to hurt your fucking soul. And it has happened to me more than anyone on this planet, okay? It's coming from a place of powerlessness. It's also coming from a place of like access where they think they have access to you, where they know you will hear what they have to say and you will respond to it and they'll make him feel what, good. What about like, when all those people saying that are your mods? I mean, that seems more personal. It's the exact same principle behind that as well. It's the exact same principle of like people perceiving what you're saying without knowing your background, without knowing what you believe. Like my mods aren't... Like these are these are not people I'm, I'm uh, you know seeing personally every single day, Ethan. There are they are uh, fans all the same. They don't know you. They don't know they don't know the conversations. Okay, I do have to go. I do have to go. What I'll say is this: I have always admired what you do, and I, I've always supported what you do, and I will continue to do that. And uh, uh, I think that um, you can. And that's it. I don't know. And you can say from the river to the sea. Uh, you can say free Palestine. No, I, okay. Do all that shit. It's not. I don't think that it's inherently anti-Semitic to say those things. To be clear, I don't think that fucking. Uh, Jewish people that are anti-Zionist are fucking Nazi sympathizers, okay? I don't, I don't think you, okay. I, I don't, don't think, think said, that, uh, I don't think you believe that. I, I know, I'm, I'm saying. I don't think that the uh, Confederate, uh, that Jews who are anti-Zionist are Confederate supporters. I am, I am anti, I'm not a Zionist, so I'm not sure where that comes from. Oh, oh I know people are saying, but in short, I support you. I've always uh, respected what you do, and uh, I will continue to do that. And, um... That's it. Is Ethan drunk? No, I'm just sick and tired. Okay, before we go, please, please don't read shit online. People are going to be fucking ruthless knowing full well that you read it and it pisses you off and it hurts your feelings. That's why people are doing really, it for the most I mean, part. Yeah. Anyone who thinks that like taking you down a notch or a peg is going to like somehow be productive or somehow win anything. Uh, and, and his call... admi Do you think his, his admirable charitability is wasted on the sun? Oh, God. I don't know. You a Zionist and yell at you uh, is is wrong. They're wrong. They're in the wrong. They do not. They're not thinking about this. They're just simply selfishly trying to yell at you, just like people selfishly try to yell at me all the fucking time because it. it it's that's a, a. That's probably how you should have put it in the first place. Not like, oh, but you understand. You are saying things that might look racist to people who are. The, yeah. You're saying the things that racists say, and like, they don't know you. Yeah, there's a bit more. There's a bit less blaming him for the attacks he's getting on. It's a mechanism of like releasing stress. Especially it's, in an incredibly stressful environment. Yeah, we as online, we in the online arena as e-celebrities, shitty e-celebrities, are always going to uh, be punching bags, okay? So don't read any of that shit. Don't. Not good. Yeah. It's, not ref it's not reflective of anything other than people's own personal perspectives. And I say this as not only your friend, but also as someone who's looking at it even from the outside, okay? <sighs> Listen, I want to say uh, to everyone watching in chat that I appreciate God, you guys' perspective. I love you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And I <sighs> hope that, you know, anything I said doesn't come off... Uh, Okay. All right. All right. Bye, Ethan. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay. All right. That was, uh, I guess, an impromptu leftovers that we did. Okay. I don't know why I spent like a five-hour stream going over that. That was a bit much.